¿Qué pasa? Hola, ¿cómo estás? Um, bien. bien, gracias. ¿Y tú? ¿Am I on? Are we live? Uh, um, uh, well, everyone, yeah, you are. I have an announcement. Uh, apparently, Jed will not be able to join us tonight because he's dead. I killed him. I'm admitting it right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that must have been Whoa. a different Jed. Oops. No, I regenerated, okay? So. Woohoo! Uh, yeah. Welcome, everyone, here to the global, 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 geek, 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 gang. A gang of geeks globally gathering. Uh, and I won't sing anymore, I promise. Uh, <sighs> blah, 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 blah. You should have kept going. Oh my goodness! Uh, we have I have a super chat. Still not used to those. Google thirteen, cool anime and manga, uh, and a cool fellow. Thank you so yeah. much. I'll do that first, I guess, since I'm not used to that. What the? And I have to get Loki to school me on how the, what's the best way in order to do <laughs> such things. Uh, for five dollars, thank you, Google. It's clobber time. It's, well, maybe we should say it like Loki says. I can't say it like Loki says. It, but it's clobber time. Um, there you go. He's good at that. I want to get that. I want, I'm trying to get there. He's the best, but I don't want to hurt his voice. So, hail. There is no great clobby. There's just me. But thank you, the wrenches. Thank you, wrenches. And all who enjoy real comics, real Star Trek, real people. Well, I wouldn't go. I don't know. If we're, I don't know for people. And, and real Doctor Have Who. some tacos. Thank you. Yeah. I will. I had some breakfast tacos a few a couple of days ago, and uh, they were really good. Dude, I just had a taco right now. It was really good. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Oh, right. I live by I live by a um you know mom and pop Mexican joint, but right you no, know, that it's like literally a five minute walk, which is the best problem ever, by the way. And we had food for them last <laughs> night and I had food leftovers for lunch. You know, it was still nice. great, even reheated. That's when you know it's really good food when it's even good reheated. You're like, oh yes. Yep. So mm -hmm. scream yards is terrible today. In the daytime it's always horrible. It is, oh, mm -hmm. it's so bad. Oh, my goodness. I mostly do nighttime stuff in the day, and I also stand at the daytime. Huh? Um, mm -hmm. But again, always thank you to the great Stone Loki for that wonderful intro, buddy. I appreciate it. Thank you for popping in with us today. Thanks for, uh, for joining us today, man. Yeah, let's blow some shit up. Oh, wait, wrong show. Blow some shit up. Sorry. Wrong show. Wrong show. Oh, My yeah. bad. My mistake. You got me hyped there for a second, Loki. What was going on? <laughs> I want to say, of course. Yeah, no. um, check it. I can't control any of those stupid uh, stream yards. All right. Well, oh, so bad. Oh, my God. I hate you. God, they're God. they're at, they're putting in a new update too. So no, in the daytime it's just slow because everybody's I don't know where it is. Um, welcome back to the great retro, Dicky, because retro's been under the weather a lot lately. And buddy, yeah. we are glad to see you back, man. I'm glad you're feeling good, especially on this I, auspicious I, occasion. Oh yeah, dude. I am We're gonna so get to that. Retro. Yeah, yeah. yeah so like me and retro have been talking about it all morning. We're gonna get to that <laughs> in just a second. Let me uh, let me uh, continue. Of course, the only one we won't say hello to is Jed because I've already been mean to him, so that's good. Uh, <laughs> Ash, buddy, love you, brother. Hello, how's it going, guys? For the record, of one, I don't. For the record, of one, I don't love Jed back. I only tolerate him. Yeah, <laughs> he's a frog. Uh, I don't like frogs. I never did. I'm just kidding. A toad. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, Nick Weiser, what's up, brother? Thank you for joining us, buddy. My pleasure. I'm glad to be back on the Global Geek Gang. I mean, I've got a, I got you know a few things to show off that I scored recently, hey. and also be amongst the boys just talking all the current nerd rage, geek rage of the world. So that's gonna be fun as well. And it's just honor, just always fun and glad to see Retro on here. I mean, I know I'm echoing yeah, what you said, Clive, but really, I I love having Ret uh, Retro. On. He's always got cool stuff to show. He's just an all good dude. Dude, what are you drinking? I want to know because I can't help. Hobgoblin? Dude. Oh, he's got what some the shit hell? over there. It's a Ruby I know the reason why Retro's drinking that. He's dude. celebrating. When Retro's, when Retro's <laughs> on a panel drinking. I'm celebrating. Congratulations, mm -hmm. man. Geek, I'm glad you celebrated. Geek joy. Mm -hmm. Geek joy. Yeah, he's happy yeah. today, man. I love it. Uh, oh, yeah. We were... We we saw that today, and me and him were going off earlier. <laughs> T-shirt, welcome, mm -hmm. buddy. 
Yes. <clears throat> Copyright man. right in mid swallow, my man. <laughs> oh, sorry about that, brother. Uh, welcome. It's always good to have you. I think you've been here at least what once before. Yeah, yeah. Now I'm, I'm not chuffing down any uh, ale right now, man. Do, you know, right. Texas man, Dr. Pepper. So. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm drinking. Hell yeah, and, brother. It's hey, great yeah. to be Water back in burger. Texas. And Waterburger. Nice. Yeah, so. nice. yeah Waterburger. You, you know it, Jed. Uh -huh. That's I love Carmine Balcone's daughter in the Long Halloween. Is this part two? <laughs> uh, yes. Oh, my God. Uh, yes. What is that? I was so looking forward to this as well. Dad, I want to be a part well, of the family. Yes, <laughs> oh, I want to be at the table, Dad. Oh, hey, uh, um, do you know Tila? Um, I kind of look like Tila. You know, <laughs> they rejected me for the part of Abby because my arms weren't big enough. So, well, so they just added me for Tila in the new Masters of the Universe. You know? Trying to remember if she was in the comic or not. Because I still uh, <laughs> she didn't look like that. I got, I got she didn't look weird. Book. She oh, did look weird. She, I'll, I'll say that because obviously I've been rereading the book recently. She yeah, is definitely not. Uh, she's definitely not. You know, some for the eyes, but this somehow makes it even worse. So, yeah. Oh, she's, yeah, she's too. Trust me. She is. They did sick. nail that accuracy. That part is accurate as far as because, like I said, I've been rereading the book lately. I haven't watched part two yet, Clobber, but I'm going to. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully Saturday, and then we'll figure out a time to to cover it. But I mean, yeah. I'm 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 conflicted on this one because they did nail the well body type down, but it's just somehow even uglier somehow. Ugh. Yeah, she was, yeah, yeah, Tim, right. Tim oh, Sailor. Tim Sailor's always ugly too, so we gotta get that's that. true too. So, so it's tough to tell. Um, it's, uh, it's, it, hard, it's a hard one to it's a hard one to get by because the beginning yeah. starts out so good. <laughs> with I don't want to ruin it for anybody. I'm yeah. gonna, the beginning is yeah. gold, and oh, then yeah. it's like it just goes downhill and oh, keeps no. going downhill. You know how you know how oh, Clobby, you said you you brought to my attention. You said um, he says I never wanted to be a detective, right? Something is staring him right in the face that anyone would have noticed. And it's something Harvey says. And you're like, boom, you know who it is. I know who it is. I know who the guy. And then yeah. he just, he, it's like, he's just like, oh, I'm Batman. I don't, I do, I, I'm not a detective. As great as that first one looked visually, as all the, as entertaining as it really was, the first part, I really liked it had things in there that are almost borderline Batman fan intolerable, especially him saying, I never thought I'd have to be a detective. I wanted mm -hmm. to strangle my TV. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was so good and garbage. Yeah. Plus, plus, Loki, there were some 20, 21 elements in there, buddy. Like, for example, well, Catwoman, Nick, she's not in the original comic that much, if you remember right. Yep. Uh, yeah. Well, we we when okay. we went over the panel, like they added like the like the scene with the money, like the way they made it, it, it was it, it did it was well done. It was just one of those things they didn't need to add it. It was well, just like the they just had it to add her well, because women. Here's the thing about that though. I don't. I should have started with. I'll do my show notes later. Now that's already out the window. It's a little bit the way it is. Um. And hello to everyone for coming in the chat. Not ignoring you. Thank you all so much for being here. Love seeing you. Love seeing you. Beautiful ladies here, too. Uh, Arwen Avalon, Stephanie Janizek, and the wonderful, beautiful Purple Valkyrie, and, and a bunch of guys, too. We don't mind you guys, but we like the ladies better. I'm sure you understand. I'm sure you agree. Um, but, you know, look, uh, I love Catwoman as much as the next Batman fan, um, but they really, really put her, made her so much more into this story, and, I, and it's kind of 2021-ish because here you've got a story that's really mostly about Batman. And in 2021, you can't have a, a complete film or anything that's completely about a guy, anymore, and especially an evil white man like Batman. You have to do yeah. something. I my, They put her in there. They even have him save his ass a couple of times. Uh, and they take away, and they're making him stupid. Batman is the smartest guy around. They're actually making it. They've dumbed him down in this. That's not in the comic. Um, you, you, we can't have anything. We can't have anything without a little bit of... Uh, 2021 ruination in there. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Well, it's even more prevalent in part two. So is, is my mic popping? I hate off? to, I hate to, I hate to uh, do that to anybody, no. but yeah, it's even worse in part two. I, I didn't think it would be. I really was excited when I saw part one. I, I really liked it, except for a couple things. And then this was just like this was a snooze fest, guys. The beginning, like I said, starts out strong, and then it's it's a snooze fest. I was like, okay, I know who it is, and they drag it out, and he just uh. completely misses it. I'm like, how can how can I immediately pick up on something that's said when the when the dark night, the detective of detectives is standing right fucking there and hears the same thing I do and isn't like, oh my god, I know who the killer is. Oh no, it's this person <laughs> instead. I'm a fucking moron. And that that's that's the is my, they play it. Loki, is my mic uh, having problems? You hear me okay? No, I hear you all right. I'm okay. hearing a lot of background stuff, but I don't know if it's me or not. All right, so it sounds win. like on this panel, Loki is the only one who has seen it. So I'm going to ask Loki, did you see it digitally or did you buy it? Hang on. No, it's not out on, it's not out on physical media yet. I saw it digitally. Oh, you saw it digitally. I thought I asked because I want to know how the... The Blue Beetle nope, special having, is. It's That's not the out. only reason I'm still considering buying it for that Blue Beetle special. I'm getting oh, the Blue Beetle I, special. I, I wouldn't. I would. I'm gonna buy it anyway because I bought part one, so I yeah, want I part one too. and two. But it mm -hmm. was just, it did not hold up to the the, the animation is beautiful. Yeah, the animation is just like part right, one. Like it's just they just flush the story down the fucking toilet is what. Oh. They do. That's so yeah. awful. Um, yeah, there's yeah, more. There's depressing. more Catwoman. There's more Catwoman asserted. I think she saves Batman like five times. It's stupid. Oh, oh, it's just, it's hey, again, bad. twenty friggin' twenty one, folks. I'm sick of this shit. You can't even it's have a like Batman, Batman story. Batman's out there saving people, and then boom, Catwoman's there to save Batman. It's like I need someone to save me all the time. And Screw I'm stupid, crap. and I can't put two clues together to go, oh, it's this person. And you all know it. When you see it, because someone yeah. says something very key. They say something, and, and I was immediately like, oh, my God, it's this person. You know, they're making you think it's this person when really it's this person. But no, he's just like, oh, it all matches up. It's this person. No, no, oh no. God, he's even worse no. and dumber in this one. He's so Loki, it, it's it's basically oh God. Masters of Universe all over again, basically. Right, no, no, right. no, no. The the thing with the thing with um Falcone's daughter isn't that big of a deal. The thing with Falcone's right. daughter is like a side thing. It just it blew me away. It's like I want to be in the boardroom, Dad. Not I'm like, what? <laughs> Damn, <laughs> you are the boardroom, bitch. You are the table. I want to be at the table, Pop. Yeah, you are the table. I felt like I felt like that one guy in Princess Bride. You are the Brood Squad. To uh, oh, to quote John McClane, I hate it when I'm right. Yeah, this I hate sucks. it too. This uh, I'm so sick of this crap. Now we can't even have Batman without him being polluted with this kind of garbage. Uh, we can't have Masters of the Universe either, Mike. You're right. I mean, yeah, I saw you're that right. coming. Though. I saw we that. Oh, man. That was yeah. This was sort of like after that first part of Batman Long Halloween. In spite of those through uh, those warning signs, it was pretty good. The first part, and the yeah. animation, like you say, uh, Loki animation is beautiful. The voice works yep. great. Mm -hmm. um, I was afraid they would drop the ball and screw up just the story. Now we know they screw up more than that. And um, <sighs> how well? Hey, okay, you, you got the but, first ten minutes to look forward to because that is hot. I was like, damn, nice. this is going to be good. And then, yeah, it wasn't. Well, I got the Blue Beatles short. Stephen Thompson, answer your question. Yes. Not only is it Ted Cord, it's probably, it's going to be based, they're going to play it as if it's sort of, if there were a 60s Blue, Blue Beetle cartoon and it's going to have the other Charlton heroes in there. So oh, cool. that's the only reason I'm going to be buying the Blu ray for part two. Yeah. Yeah, and, then, and that, there's there's a metal case version of the the Blu-ray that's coming out. I'm gonna I'm gonna get that. Um, with, you with can both get, parts. I think, I think you can get the digital for free as long as you have that ordered or some shit. You'll get your digital copy, and you can get your actual copy mailed mm -hmm. to you. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'll have it to complete my set. But that's it. It's yeah, what, a, what a fucking waste. Second insane. half is just a waste. So I'm just. I'm I'm buying it just for the Blue Beetle because the thing is, the, the Long Halloween Part 1 was the first um, 
animated movie from DC I have bought in several years. Wow. Because I was such a fan of that. I'm like, this is actually worth the purchase. It was worth giving my money, my hard-earned money, too. It felt good. And then I rewatched it again, and it had rewatchability, too, which was another good thing. Like, they had so – like I said, there was a few minor things, obviously. Like, some of the extra – I feel like the extra stuff with Catwoman was at least good. Like, like the, the – even though it wasn't – it didn't need to happen like the like the money scene because in the book it was as Batman and Dent, but let's be real, we've seen tons of Bat and Cat chases. And it's usually Cat leading her somewhere, so the way it was done with Catwoman did make sense. But we all know why they added, it, even though it made oh. sense for her character because it's right. not odd character for her to lead Bat to a place or a clue or somewhere. They could have just had Batman find it, but at least it was a very Catwoman part. But now we're hearing. Like it's yeah. worse, way worse is. Oh, it's good. Yeah. Oh. By the way, thank you so much, Gogol Curtin, for that. Uh, yes, as you as you now surmise, we're talking about the uh, very disappointing uh, Batman: The Long Halloween. Uh, in this case, uh, part two. It was a two part DVD film, uh, straight to straight to DVD Blu Ray film, uh, adapting the uh, Jeff Loeb Ted Sale. Maxi series from the '90s of Batman: The Long Halloween, and uh, Nick and I reviewed the first part on his show a couple of, a week or so ago, and mm-hmm. we'll we'll for better or worse, we will hit the second part, buddy. And uh, we will. And uh, also, yeah. Loki, Loki, well, you and I can talk about the whole in its entirety um, on the on one of my Monday night shows. If you if you um, would love to, you still, would love you to. They throw you a big curveball at the very beginning. You almost think it's connected to. Um, Mask of the Phantasm. I was like, oh my God, are they connected what? this to Mask of the Phantasm? And then I was like, okay, wait a minute. Oh my God. But yeah, man. they throw you a curveball at the very beginning. I was like, holy shit, is that what they're doing? But no. Well, you yeah. know what? That pisses me off. Let's start with the good news of the day, at least. Um, I guess let's go to that. First, a little bit of a show note, everyone. So, uh, as always, please join us if you're a Star Trek fan for Saturday night Star Trek. Uh, the wonderful Rick Briggs and I, we're reviewing all of Real Trek. And it, please join us in these tough times. We need all the support we can get. And it's been blowing up. You've all been fantastic. But we're suffering through Star Trek The Next Generation Season 1 right now. And, uh, you know, we need all the help we can get. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, a it's, it's, a tr- it's a trial. I mean, again, I'm going to be dumbing this one at the end of when we get done with Season 1. is the miracle season. It's a miracle there were any other seasons after this one. The miracle that got past episodes of it, but on network television, it wouldn't have. That's 9 p.m. Central Standard Time. We're doing all of real Star Trek. It's going to take us years. We're going we're gonna to do it. Four more episodes this week. Well, it, now, it would have been, that first season um, would have been better if uh, but, yeah. Roddenberry had been torpedoing but, it the entire time. Well, yeah, that's that's, a, that's five shows in itself right there, Dieter. Uh August 8th, 1961. Yeah. A date which will live in comic book infamy. Uh, the, release of, the, re- <laughs> the release of Fantastic Four, number one. Uh, 60 years to the day. We all know Marvel Comics is inadequate and incapable and unwilling to celebrate the Fantastic Four, Marvel's first family, their, their most important comic book ever, the world's greatest comic magazine, creation of the great Jack Kirby with a little help from Stanley. Little, uh, only a little. Sorry, we're not getting into that debate right now, but that's the way it is. Um, we are going to celebrate it properly. This will be 60 years to the day of the release of Fantastic Four number one. I shall gather my gang of global geeks 4 p.m. Central Standard Time on that fine Sunday to give uh, a proper a proper tribute to the world's greatest comic magazine, Marvel's first family, Kirby's first family. So please join us for that. We're going to have some surprises. We're going to talk a lot about issue number one itself, but a lot of other uh, – just talk about how much we love the Fantastic Four. So – Please join us for that. And our, I'm sorry about everyone. Sorry about everyone, but we have actually something good to talk about today. Mm-hmm. Something good. Well, I'm not saying it's positive for the future, mind you. But no, at least it's it. at least two. At least a creep is leaving something that he's helped to destroy. That will probably never be repaired. Oh, a creep Chris, and a creeper. So. Yeah, a creep and a creeper. Chris Chibby is leaving a showrunner of Doctor Who. And Jody, and Jody Whitaker is leaving, and uh, it, the, the, uh, we're uh, yeah retro so happy. I'm not gonna. I don't. I'm not even gonna rain on his parade. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Well, nah, we were, we were, nah, we were nah. still... I know it's, it's probably only a small victory because yeah. we know the, cha the change has got to come deeper then. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's not going to be, yeah, you know, but still, hey, I'm glad they're gone. Look, you never know, yeah. man. You never know. Yeah, yeah. it can't be worse. I mean, yeah. even well, well, maybe I shouldn't say it. Brett Ooh, Cohen. Did. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Brett Cohen, for, uh, I'm, I'm, uh, for that. I appreciate you so much. Anyone watched Batman: Soul of the Dragon yet? Anyone? Yes, mm, I no. yes, I have. And thank you, Arwen. You're absolutely right. Uh, the Fantastic Four actually belongs to me now. I'm going to say that enough to get me and myself in trouble. <laughs> <one day. laughs> you you know, it basically is yours. Just take, let's go all the way to the bank with it. Yeah, I own it. They're going to say, wait a minute, you're laying claim to legal claim to the one that's the four year. You can't say that on the air. You know what's funny? <laughs> all right. I, I, I know we want to get on the good news, which I wholeheartedly but, agree, but I need to get one honorable mention. Um, is the fact okay. that you're actually celebrating the Fantastic Four in August of this month. And Marvel literally was, and now they're literally not going to. And I'm not uh -huh. even talking about like, like figuratively, literally. I'm talking about literally, literally, because the comp book that they were supposed to put out to coincide with the anniversary release got moved to next month, so they can't even get it released on time. So you you're next month? You mean September? Yeah, it got moved to oh, September. Yeah, it's not. It's, it's still July, but so you, you. So they're not even gonna nope. put it out in August. Nice. Not gonna put it, it got pushed back. Speaking and of August, guys, the other. The other show note I forgot, everyone, is August is always, and always has been, Jack Kirby Month on Clobbering Times. Aww. So I always celebrate the king of comics, oh, yeah. the, great, the greatest creative force of the 20th century. And so expect many Jack Kirby shows, as as I always do every year. So sorry about that catch up there, Nicholas. Go for it, man. It's just funny how that happens. Like, that, like you know, we always, so I always think, oh, they'll probably, like, no, they'll probably make a nod to it, but it'll probably be, like, a terrible celebration. The oh, book yeah. was originally supposed to come out in July, and it was just supposed to be a regular numbered issue, but, you know, they're going to do extra pages, make it cost more, the yada, yada stuff to celebrate the anniversary. And I'm not going to name the writer, but he's notorious for being late, and now he's late even for the anniversary book. So it's just... Now they're not going to celebrate in all in the proper month of this anniversary. And, so that should have been planned months back, and they still can't get out on time. You, you know what I'm saying? It's probably going to happen. They may announce the cast of the new movie. Oh. So, yeah. did, you guys, did you guys hear about uh, ScarJo? She's suing the no. shit out yes, of Disney. Yeah. I heard about that. <laughs> yeah, heard about that. We, we, could, yeah. we could do that next. That. We can yeah, do that next. Go Nemo <clears throat> Nova. I like that name. Thank you for the three ninety nine super chat. I really appreciate that. I just want to address uh Gogo thirteens, but I appreciate you there. What years was Jack Kirby active? Well, let's see, nineteen thirty six seven or so. He used to be an animator for Max Fleischer Studio or worked on the animation cells for Popeye cartoons, then of course went into comics. Went to the war and served and fought in combat as a he war hero and after that but went back to comics and really didn't retire until about the late 80s. So any uh, in the meantime, three different times he revolutionized the medium and changed it and created billions upon billions of characters, platoons full of characters. Most of the most uh, – well, put it this way. Ju I'll put it to you like this. I'm Julius Schwartz, legendary editor – for DC Comics and on Superman famously once said at a con I was at when he introduced Jack Kirby on the stage. He said, Jerry Siegel and Joe Schuster created Superman. Bill, Bob Kane and Bill Finger created Batman. And Jack Kirby did everything else. <laughs> so that True. tells you the thing right there. Now, obviously, Jack was a humble guy. And he would have said, oh, no, a lot of people have to do a lot of other things, of course. Because it was the kind of guy he was. Uh, and it's true. Many, many other wonderful people have created things. But it is... It, 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 it really does. What, what Schwartz was saying really, really applies. Jack Kirby, it's immeasurable, the things he's created. Mm -hmm. You can't. Yeah. Anyway, um, oh, okay, so did you guys want to talk? I'll let you have the, the field here if you want to talk about the news about Miss uh, ScarJo. If you know something. I don't, I, I've only just heard about it, so you guys are going to have to help me out on that. Um, fill me on the blank as well. I just I don't know. Really I don't know violated 
Disney violated the contract they had with ScarJo. There's in the yeah. in the contract, it specifically stated that ScarJo was going to get 25% of the, the theatrical take and that all releases would be theaters. They would oh. not release it on Disney Plus. Anything <laughs> released on Disney Plus, she doesn't make a fucking dime. So all that money, they were like, look how much money we made on Disney Plus. Scar just sitting there going, you motherfuckers. And they offered her director spots and future MCU films to do this movie. They set all this up. And now the only like her big part of this paycheck is all coming from the take of the theaters. Yeah. And she ain't gonna she ain't gonna get shit. She's not gonna make a dime because they're not even gonna make the cost of this movie back. Yeah. So Disney- after yeah, after after they paid for production, after they paid for advertising, this money is this they're going to lose money on this movie, which means her big paycheck is a big fat fucking zero. <laughs> And she oh, won't no. see any of the money from Disney Plus. So in her contract, it specifically stated you can <clears throat> only release this movie in theaters. This is a theatrical only release. And they released it on Disney Plus too. So if somebody mm-hmm. reading the contract and mm-hmm. she's gonna do the shit out of Disney. Dude, I hope she <laughs> sues them into oblivion. Like I doubt it. <laughs> I doubt she could sue them into oblivion, but she could at least sue them for whatever her percentage of the take would have been. Yeah, I mean, let's be real here. Like, it's not even disputable. As much as we want her to, you know, get as much as she can out of this, she only has so much power against a juggernaut. Even with the money that she has, she only has so much power as well. Yeah. But let's hope for the best and hope that she gets some the closest thing to a happy ending out of this as possible because they need they need like be shown that they can bleed. I'm not saying for them to be wiped out or to go out of business, but they need to be shown that they're not invincible. Mm-hmm. I agree with you, Nick. That's all I'm looking to see happen is just to be shown that they're not invincible. They need to take an actual proper hit because these movies like Raya, Cruella, Black Widow, they can take those hits. They can take those hits and they'll be fine. But we need to say we need to see a serious thing like this really stuck to them so we'll see hopefully it turns out for the best well she, uh, did you see tony w- burton in her corner going you see he's not a machine he's a man <laughs> <laughs> did, did you see what brightest day said if anything i hope that it starts a chain reaction of lawsuits so, well, that would be nice but Actually, you know what? I'm sued by writers that they're not paying royalties to. So, shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I kind of wonder, though, how fast it's going to be before uh, they mobilize the media against her to say that she's this or that or an ist or a phobe or Mm -hmm. whatever to deflect it all. Watch how fast it starts happening. They eat their own, man. They eat their own. That's 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 what they do in Hollywood. I mean... They, the thing is they, they talk about all this stuff about buzzwords with the word, especially the one they like to use a lot, called inclusive. But yet when it comes down to it, they are as exclusive as it gets. Yep, GoGo13, thank you again for that, my friend. You were too kind. I'm very generous. I appreciate you. Uh, well, that finishes her with Disney. Black Widow lost money, and I once again love Oh, and I uh, hate being right. Yeah, there you go. D plus cost twenty to fifty million. The ticket sales, if not more. Uh, yes, um, they are. They're in trouble, aren't they? What? What a shame. We all feel really bad for them as well. Oh, we don't. No, we don't. <laughs> that was the majority of her paycheck for that movie. Was oh wow, percentage. <laughs> brightest day. Thank you, brightest day, for that. I'd still give ScarJo a happy ending. Well, who wouldn't, man? I mean, uh, <laughs> <laughs> meanwhile, water's wet, the sky is blue. Yeah, yeah, not, that's an easy call, there, brother. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you no, know, I, I don't know a, a human being that would exist that would disagree with, it, and I truly mean any human being. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hashtag save gingers, Lord Thoth, yeah. if you're out there. Mm-hmm. Yes. What a, what a way to go out. You go out. You go out of the MCU with a horrible damn movie that should have been made five years ago, and you go out without a paycheck. Not what a only, wonderful way to leave the MCU. 
Yeah, I mean, between leaving the MCU with not only a horrible paycheck, but in my opinion, it feels like some have either agreed or disagreed with me. But I feel like she played second fiddle in her own movie, and I get the idea of trying to add another character to you know, pay the way for the future, but they could have still given her her hurrah moment, but not one part in it did feel like that. It just felt like it was just another movie, and she just happened to have her name attached to it. Well, they she talked about that in an interview, saying this was a very much a passing the torch moment. But mm -hmm. Disney's offered the opportunity to direct, and it's a wonderful opportunity. So she was going to come back and close out her character. Mm -hmm. I mean, think about that. Disney offered you director spots; you'd come back and do one last movie. Why mm -hmm. so you can pass the torch? Mm -hmm. I feel like, and that's the thing. I get the yeah, once again. I get the idea of passing the torch, but you can still do both. I mean, you can have, you can pass the torch and still, you know, give this character. Cause this is basically her final flick as this character. Yep. This doesn't feel like a final flick. It doesn't even feel like it gave her any closure. And I mean, like everyone else has said, it should have come out five or six years ago. So like, obviously her true ending was, was Endgame, which I personally felt was a fine scene, but it's just a concern that this movie came out. This movie needs to deliver more to that ending, and it didn't. It didn't feel like it added anything. Like what? We added a jacket that she wore because Yelena wore it, so we're going to add that to Infinity War? It's like, that doesn't really add much. It's like, yeah, cool. That's great if you catch it, but as far as story-wise, there's no emotional weight added to her final movie. I mean, she re she has been a good character over the years, and she has proven that time and again. She played the role for, what, 10, 11 years? We got a nice, mm -hmm. you know, consistency out of her, the way we had Hugh Jackman as Wolverine, Downey as Iron Man. like, And when those characters had their final moments, it felt like this feels like a final moment. Nothing in this movie felt like that. Now, here's a question. Uh, do, you, do you suppose that the decision to go and into a streaming release might have been in response to her uh, airing her views about the Black Widow character and the sexualization of it? I don't no, those think so were, at all. No, those weren't no. her views. That was a Disney, that was a Disney bullet list of things yep. to say. No actress in her right mind would go mm -hmm. out and talk about, I need to be uglier to be in more movies. Oh, wow. hell okay. no. Okay. No. Uh, just curious. I mean, they that's want to stay take, away from that as long as they can. Uh -huh. Like, yeah. yeah, that's what keeps the cosmetic surgeons employed over there. Huh? Uh -huh. <laughs> Thank you, Darius Mont, for that one for you. No, you're super Thank you so much. And thank you. Stopped in. Great to see you all. Glad to see you here. Um, we, we love our global geek gang. Well, you great are program. breaking up, brother. I don't know. I, 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 I am. Damn, you are breaking yeah. up. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, you yeah, are. Like, now like you are. Time, I'm, I'm like not a, even moving. It's like every time you talk, it's like your mic is taking a bite out of the sound. This is something. I will go on without me till I can figure something out. We got All a right. fat Steven. Hold Yay. me. You know, I just came here for Retro Dickie. I haven't seen him in a while. He looks happy. <laughs> usually. I knew Hello, I smelled Crisco and don't baby you know, oil. You know. Oh. Yeah, yeah, that's why I was uh, yeah down and yeah. out with the coof, mate. Or uh, still alive and kicking. So cheers, wait, wait. To you, sir. Well, <laughs> got something to celebrate well, today. Well, most men would go offline for the cooch. That's how it works. Sir. <laughs> <laughs> well, he does. That's, that's, that's a vague memory. What are you that's playing, Fat? That's a vague, that's that. a vague memory. I'm not playing anything. That's actually the loading screen to Outbreak. Oh, okay. Nice. Uh, what they did is uh, Call of Duty, you know, Warzone, everyone likes Warzone, but they, they, there's a amount of hackers going on, right? And it's ruining it. Outbreak is the open world concept, but you're doing zombies. And zombies spawns everywhere. That's all the dogs. They have mini bosses, sub bosses. That dude behind me is a big, is one of the bosses. He throws fucking the flaming dogs at you. But you go in, you do the missions, and then you teleport to the next area. It changes like Alpine or the city, and it gets harder with tears. Pack a punch, everything's there. Oh. All the experience earned there, you also earn across all other of the game modes. This is not the yeah. same Call of Duty that's on Blizzard, is it? This is the same Cold War. This is the Treyarch Cold War. Oh, I've been watching Lethal in. Uh, I've been watching Lethal in uh, Rhino Lethal. play it. So yeah, yeah, Lethal joined us two days ago. Nice. What about now, guys? You hear me, all right? A little bit better. Sound good, little, brother. Little little poppy. Should I don't understand. I mean, I'm at the maybe I could it could be my background say, noise. Maybe 
maybe kick yourself out and come back. Do see you, what happens. Um, Sometimes okay. that works. It could be we the water to... itself, though. Yeah, try kicking yeah. yourself out. Because right. I've done that before, and like I know when I'll, every now and then when I did the cocktail lounge, and there'd be like 800 dudes on the panel, and all of a sudden there'd be like things going off, and then we were like, all right, let's have everyone leave and then come back, and all of a sudden we were clear as day. So, what about now? Let's... Talk some more. Same. Yeah, talk probably, some more. Probably the same, huh? It's going to be what I'm. I don't know, yeah. little, little, little tiny pop in, but it's you sound tiny, but you sound it. a lot. Yeah, you're, 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 for the most part, you sound just, good. You, for the most this, part, you're good. This wasn't the cheapest microphone ever, but I guess it's shitty. Could it be the wires, like you're saying there, Steven? This is like bring that pissed me off. You got a pop filter on it? I mean, like going, oh, the, yeah, the little uh, yeah, the thing you see in front of like uh, like Nick has. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. I got one not for all the good it does, right? Yeah. I don't. I don't have a pop filter on mine. I just got a windscreen. Well, right. let's just well, carry on the best we can. Well, okay, <laughs> sorry everyone. How'd you get this? We'll I'm gonna okay. have to get a new mic or something. And Nick, you're you're wearing uh you're wearing Rick there, aren't you, man? Rick Flair, Ultimate Woo! Warrior, Macho Woo! Man. So. Ooh, I was, yeah. I, Ooh, Ooh yeah. 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 Brother, I need a Slim Jim and a Twinkie right now. Straight to the <laughs> cream. Straight well, to the you cream. Uh, cream rises if you were call. here, I'd snap your neck like a Slim Jim. Oh my God. I like I like <laughs> Ultimate Warrior promos because he would ramble on for like five minutes and you didn't know what he was talking about. He would talk about how he was summoning powers from the high heavens and reaching into other dimensions. And you're like... you and, and That's what I miss about those old school promos because yeah. those promos way back in the day were not scripted. You just went straight from the heart, and boy, does it show. Because when you had oh, guys yeah. like Ric Flair, who probably pounded a gallon of coffee, and then before you know it, he was just in his boxers on on the on, in the ring, talking about how he's the dirtiest player in the game, just wooing and just going all over the floor. It's just like uh, wow. Uh, was with, this, with ultimate, was there ever great. a point where there wasn't a bane on the left side of his head that looked like oh. it was about to fucking explode? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> There's actually a rumor with that vein, and uh, when he's sleeping at night, the vein is he snores right, but the vein's like, oh yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah. With Warrior, man, it was like you know, cocaine and steroids are really powerful motivators, man. You could you nope. could feel like you could you know move heaven and earth with that going on well that was the bicycle streamers he tied to his arms right <laughs> no <laughs> no yes no i i even looked at this shirt styling and profiling rick flair eliminate no ultimate like the warrior and then macho not just macho man but nah i i love these guys i was actually re-watching the 1992 royal rumble a few days ago and Ric Flair was the number three entrant of 30. And Flair, even though he is at number three, he got his ass kicked the entire match and still won. Mm -hmm. yeah. still, that was the funniest part about it. He was getting totaled throughout the match. I remember, like, I'm like, this guy is weaseling his way through the match. And I forgot that he won. So it was kind of, like, brand new. And I was kind of getting invested in the match, even though it's from 92. And that matter, it came down to Hogan, um, Psycho Sid, and Flair, I remember thinking, oh, my God, something's going to happen very slick that Flair is somehow going to win. I remember Hogan um, tossed out Sid from behind because Sid was trying to get rid of Flair. And then Sid was mad. And it, all of a sudden, you know, it got Hogan's attention. And then Flair tossed out Hogan. And then before you know it, Flair had won. So I was like, wow, what a weasel move. But oh, man, I still love like the guy. When, when you go back and you look at some of those guys, you're like, God, you're like the worst wrestler ever. But still, your promos are so awesome and your your image is so cool. That's what's getting you over. Because Warrior could not wrestle a lick, man. He had like two moves and he no-sold everything else that everyone else did to him, pretty much. Well, that was Goldberg as well. I mean, Goldberg True. was squash match after squash match. Now, I'll give him credit to say it was entertaining. It was at huh? very entertaining. I, I still love seeing it happen. But if you think about it, yeah, he didn't. Like, he did not really have many moves. I remember, like, because mm -hmm. he had a match against William Regal, and William Regal is a very technical, yeah. technical guy. Like, he's 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 a he's an arts performer with his yeah. move. And when he was doing all these things, Goldberg didn't look like he knew what to do. And I could tell the announcers were trying to, like, figure out what to <laughs> say. To cover it. 
Yeah, they're trying to come like, wow, Goldberg's doing new moves we've never seen before. I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, That's- hey, oh, you can just watch Goldberg and Regal. And there's been talks to this day about that match that uh-huh. Goldberg had. Look up any video on YouTube of how Goldberg responds to that match. Because it's just because like, Goldberg was being set up to be this big gut thing who would go on to be 173-0. and 0, And I think this is like his... 30th match, but that match did not look like an undefeated win match like his other matches. That looked like Mm -hmm. it was like, what am I doing here? And Regal's (laughs) just making a mockery out of it. Schooling him. Oh, Regal was was funny because Regal was playing this guy who was this very, like, you know, British character who was all about being proper. But man, as soon as that guy got into the ring, he was an artsman with his performer. That performance tip. Seriously, so good. Well, that's yeah, kind of like you could tell when Hogan, he's like, okay, Hogan's going to do the leg drop. He's going to go the, oh, and, and you, you know, you could tell when Hogan was going to do that stuff too. Well, yeah, so, he telegraphed it. But he no, telegraphed he like, all I watched, his moves. I watched Stone yeah. Cold and um, uh, Dustin Rhodes uh, go into mm-hmm. it at one, at one match, and they were fucking chain wrestling, and it was like six minutes of just solid back and forth chain wrestling. I'm like, these guys know how to fucking wrestle. Yeah, Stone oh, Cold yeah. was Stone Cold awesome. was really he Stone Cold was the best best of both worlds. I almost said like Mike Tyson. But Stone Cold was the best, not Beth, best of both worlds. He really could carry a match and he was obviously an incredible like entertainer. I mean, you mm-hmm. had him beat up Vince McMahon at a hospital, you had him fight Booker T at a grocery store, you see him pull up at a truck that had beer hose. Yeah. And you see you'd see these matches. He he'd be in these long matches and they were always entertaining. And that is a total package. And, and I feel like that's the part that's overlooked on Steve Austin is his performance in the ring is no one talked about. I mean, yes, the character is what we know him for, but look how good his matches were. He was yeah, he, he was more than just uh, a guy who could cut good promos. He was so much more than that. And that's something that does not get enough acknowledgement. I remember that one time where he picked his bedpan and just nailed Vince over the head with it. He's mm-hmm. like, come on, Vince, hospital. you want this? Yeah, the hospital one was Speaking hilarious. of WWF, let me get some to show off to you guys. You'll, you'll like this. You guys will have a like, total brogasm about it. Okay. What about now, <clears throat> Loki? What do you think? Is it a little bit better now? Yeah, it sounds sound good, brother. You sure? You can tell me. Yep, you sound cool. amazing. You sound great. Oh, no, you yeah, sound that sounds good. No problem. Make some adjustments. Maybe I need to be farther back from the microphone sometimes. Oh, do, do you, you guys remember the time when Hogan went turned into the NWO? He had his yellow and red on, and then he opened his shirt, and then now, I was there at that at that match when he turned in WO. I would scream. I was in the front row. Well, who else but, was in that card? Um, I don't remember. That was like 20, 25 years Lex, ago. Uh, Lex Luger, Sting, Kevin yeah. Nash, Scott Hall, because I was there. Oh, you were there too? It was a three-on-three three match. No one knew who the third man yeah, was. And, and then, then Hogan came out, and every, everybody was going nuts, I thinking, was, oh, he's there for fucking Luger and Sting. He's going to be. He's gonna come in, because I think it was Luger who got hurt. And he always going to come in and he's going to say the fucking right. day no. He was Scott Hall and Kevin Nash's yeah. third man. Okay. And then Clobby, Hogan zoom started in. dropping it. Yeah. Nope. Okay, no Clobby to zoom in. All right. Well, anyways, I'm doing this it. is perfect timing. Oh, it, thank you. Takes a second, this man. This is, time is yards are really slow. Well, good. Well, this times out very well with the Ghostbusters trailer, but I have Steve Austin here in his Ghostbusters <laughs> uniform. <laughs> That's awesome, Dick. That's, That's cool. Uh, cool. Yeah. Uh, let me get. I also have Shawn Michaels as well, <laughs> and then I have John Cena as well, <laughs> wow. and then the Undertaker in purple with a green slimy championship belt right here. Oh, his cap is falling off, but you can see the Undertaker. I, I like this one the best. So the Undertaker, yeah, because he's a ghost. Yeah, right. Of course. Oh, look at the white eyes. Actually, looks cool on the camera. Mm-hmm. And I know I showed this to a few people before in past GGG episodes, and I'm probably going to finally let these out of the box, but Ninja Turtles released lines of figures that were with WWE characters, and five years ago they had um, all of them as certain characters, and line one, they had Michelangelo as Macho Man right here. He's even got the <laughs> hair, if you look. He's even got the hair. 
So, <laughs> and then series two had um Michelangelo's Roddy Roddy Piper, which is I love this one because you see the bagpipes, you see the hair, you see the microphone, the hot rod shirt. It's it's totally perfect. And on uh, and here's the series two lineup. You had um God, the camera's getting blurry. You had um Michelangelo's Finn Balor. You had Raphael as the Rock. You had Donatello as the Ultimate Warrior as yeah, well. Yeah, I got that. That one. doesn't make sense though, because Donatello is like the science geek one. He doesn't really seem like the guy who's like, oh yeah, chemistry. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, Good point. Just so it felt like you're going off for you no know, collections. Oh, and, oh cool. I guess maybe we'll, I'll show this one off while, I, while we're here. We'll, what you got for all the, all the toxic mail? So I after seeing the whole Hasbro like thing, I don't want to give it you know recognition, but just something bad Hasbro did. I'm like I don't want to give that company money anymore. So I decided to go backwards and I restarted my Spider-Man animated series collection and I found a figure that I did have when I was a kid. Now I own once again. I'm gonna let out of the box today. Black cat. Nice. Yes. Oh, don't don't take it out of the box, please. Don't. That's beautiful. Don't take that out of the box. Oh, take oh, it out. Oh, 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 yeah. Definitely take it out. out. I, I take will it hunt out. you down. Don't oh, don't take it out. No 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 no. no, 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 no
I have way too many, and I've got like around fifteen Cannibal Corpse shirts, but I don't want to let any of those go. <laughs> because Good old George Corpse Grinder, man. Yeah, yeah I, I even have his um previous band before he joined Cannibal, um, Monstrosity. When he did the Millennium album, I have that as an album artwork cool. as a shirt. And Cor- Corpse Grinder got his name because he was in a band called Corpse Grinder. So they kind of be like, oh, where's that Corpse Grinder guy? Corpse Grinder is actually a big Marvel Comics fan as well. He's, yeah, he's, I think I knew that. Yeah, yeah, he's um, oh. very dedicated about World of Warcraft as well. Anyone who's not seen on YouTube, you should absolutely look up George Fisher and World of Warcraft. He is very, very, very passionate. Uh, he is like he's hardcore passionate. He's one of those. I have friends who play that game to a point where they had no life, much like South Park with that episode. Yeah. And and I I would play this clip of George Fisher going off about Warcraft. And people are like, oh, I know how he feels. I'm like, oh, okay. So so George isn't crazy. I could, no, I know how he feels. That makes me angry. I'm like, oh, okay. So yeah, he, he, he's a he's a big time geek nerd, whatever you want to call it as well. Corpse Grinders, he's a real one. Yeah, kind of wonder cool. how this current stuff with Blizzard going on is affecting him right now because there's oh, a lot of people calling yeah. for boycotts and all this other stuff it's, again. It's not- it's not just that. There's also the terrifying aspect that other companies are already jumping the gun and showing their guilt by trying to say, like, well, we won't stand for what Blizzard has done. I'm like, guys, mm-hmm. keep your mouth shut. You just make yourselves going, hey, don't look at my skeletons in my closet. You literally just out of your, you just put more eyes on you. Keep your mouth shut. That's the way, that's yeah, the way they've been that. doing. That's exactly what they've been doing, man. That's what I was mm-hmm. talking about this morning was that's exactly what all these fucking companies are doing. They've been saying, oh, you have to do this and you have to be this and you have to be squeaky clean. But in reality, the people that work with these motherfucking companies, they're the ones going out and doing this shit but saying, hey, you can't do what we do. You have to do what we say. You have to be squeaky clean. We can't have hot ass females in our game. We can't have guys looking at hot ass females in our games. Nah, nah, nah. We got to have Abby fucking smash. That's the only way we can Abby move forward. When they're, they're <laughs> the Cosby <laughs> sweet shit. Fuck them. Uh, sweets. <laughs> oh, and, and, and then Jason Schreiber came out, and I was like, dude, you need to shut up because he was just going for clout. If you've seen one of my posts I did this morning, I, I didn't was, see it, but tell us about it. Well, he he goes, well, I've known about all the corruption and the females and all this stuff for years. And I was just like, I said, so you've known about this for years, but you haven't said anything. And Uh now that you see everything that's going on, now you're out on everything. And it's just just scummy move, you know? So uh, there's a bunch of other people that agreed. It was like, yeah, he could have blown the whistle years ago, but he didn't. So he's just doing it for clout now because that's mm-hmm. what he does. Well, that's, you know? that's just like the Brad Pitt story that came out after the Wienerstein, after the Wiener yeah. schnitzel thing happened. You find out Brad Pitt went into his office, popped him in the mouth, put him on the floor and said, you ever come near my girlfriend again, I'll beat your ass. I'll kill you. I'll leave you for dead. Yeah. And, and you're like, wait a minute. So he knew about this. Um, that that other fucker that did Ocean's Eleven with him, he knew about this. All these people mm-hmm. that worked for Weinstein knew about this. Of course, they hear old Brad went into the office and put his ass on the ground. Yeah. So they knew about all this shit the whole time, and then that now now that it's public, they're all like, "Oh yeah, we won't stand yeah. for it." Twenty years fucking later. But look what happened to Gwyneth Paltrow. No wonder she's selling fucking vagina candles on her website. Ugh. She's completely <laughs> fucking out true, of the line. Loki, true. Buy my yeah. trust candle. <laughs> I've been tempted to buy that just to smell it, but I'm kind of like, I, I, don't, I don't, you know, I, I think I'd rather just have the real thing and not, you know. Well, you know, she should have sent the, those candles to incels, the ones that, that can't get laid. Like, here's the smell of vagina. Calm the fuck down. <laughs> she, she, was, she was on Jimmy Jimmy Fallon the other day, you know, like, I, I queefed on the set of duets. Right, bitch? <laughs> what? <laughs> that's an image I don't ever want to picture. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's the part that don't make sense. Is that like we got all these people saying these. See, like the there's a lady who's gonna be um doing art for an upcoming Black Label book for DC, and her Twitter feed is it's you're like this is the char- this is the lady who's doing art for Superman versus Lobo, a character who's literally literally supposed to be for everyone who's organically inclusive. 
and I can't believe I'm using her buzzword, but I'm just being truthful. And yet here she is, and you're like, this is who's writing or doing art for Superman. This is this is bad. This is very bad. Just it's, Google this week in comics, Nick. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. And go yeah, the no, go ahead. All that shit. We do this every on the comic round table, not trying to yeah. sell too far, but we do this every week. We go through like the this week in comics, and everything is just a joke. It's there, there's no care, yeah. it's out of self insert. Yeah. You're trying to make it like, uh, oh, look, if you can't go to go, go to the museum or the art, art gallery here, I'm gonna make it look like shitty as someone who doesn't give a fuck about art galleries, and then they just do that. Like, we've seen some Superman like that, the Harley Quinn stuff, obese Joker. Uh -huh. They think they. they it, we're at a point now where Fortnite and Epic Games are making better two the, the legit version skins in a game for kids than the uh -huh. old mainstream comedy. And comedy mm -hmm. It is a comedy at this point. It's, it's a sad comedy. Yeah. And the cover is the main thing everyone sees. If you can't deliver a good cover, you can't even trick people into a shitty story. Yeah, that's Give true. Up. Yeah, I agree. I will say, though, I did enjoy Berserker number four this week. Ooh. That's from Boom. That's the book with uh, Matthew yep. Kent and um, Keanu Reeves with Ron Garney on the pencils. I mm -hmm. did enjoy that. Um, and it's been a lot. There's been a little bit more substance to the story than I thought it would be. And as much as I love Keanu Reeves, I I, lo I love Keanu Reeves. But even I was just like, oh, great. I'm their celebrity writing a book. Even though I love Keanu Reeves. But I'm like, the thing is, just because they're a big name doesn't mean that they translate to doing everything else good. Like, one can be good at acting and making good movies, but doesn't mean that they're going to be great at writing a book. But Berserker has actually been readable. It's been fun. And it's been super intense. Like, seriously, it looks like something from, like, a like a death metal, death metal album artwork. Um, and the story has this, like layer of mystery to it too so it's like oh you know there's actually s stuff going on in this story and it's been it's been fun to read and it's actually enjoyable so it feels good to you know write a book and enjoy it and not feel like one it's not just good because it's not intersectional or woke or whatever yeah. or is the current big word it's just it's just a fun solid book it's not the grandest scale thing but it's it's quality. I do enjoy it much like I really enjoyed the last Ronin from Ninja Turtles. Now that book has been awesome. Obviously the flaw with that book, if you want to call it that is it's only coming out every three months. And obviously the number four hits well next month, because we're two days away from August with number four. And that's been super fun as well, but you know, they do make the pages bigger and there is more additional pages so it's it's been a great Ninja Turtles story, unlike the main book, which went to crap. But The Last Ronin has been an awesome miniseries. I highly recommend The Last Ronin. And Power Rangers has been good, too. I can't believe I'm saying it, but I went off Yellow Fash's recommendation. Boom? Isn't that Boom as well, though? They That's Boom as well. That's Boom yeah. as well. Yeah, Boom is actually trying to, like, deliver comics. And people are actually buying the things from there, from, from Boom. So there, someone, some bigger publisher is doing something. I mean, can't say that for much of the others. I mean, like I said, there's one book from Image I enjoy, Firepower, which is Kirkman and Samney. I, I do enjoy Samney's art a lot. So, And that's a martial arts story involving family, which hmm. is something that modern comic books like to ignore is the idea of family. It's actual family with the dog and everything, you know, father, mother, daughter, and son. And it's great. And unlike... Kirkman's other books where he loves to kill the crap eye characters 13 issues in, I think maybe one character's eye can, I had to emphasize the word maybe one. It's nice to actually have books that are hopeful. I'm just saying they are out there. You gotta obviously dig through a lot, a lot, a lot of garbage, but they do exist. Nick, I want you to watch Space Dandy and I want you and me and a couple others to cover it because I've been saying Let's it around. Do it. It's a 2004 anime series. Mm -hmm. So picture picture the director did Cowboy Bebop. Mm -hmm. and you know Cowboy Bebop, right? Oh, yeah. Now I got, picture I the, the total fucking opposite of Cowboy Bebop but with the same type of insanity. But they're space bounty hunters. I'd have to see it. I'm, I'm curious. Let's do something about that. So episode Stephen. is about them only trying to find the best ramen in the universe. <laughs> that sounds episode, cool. There, there's another episode where they literally get turned into zombies and they live their normal life surviving by sun tanning and eating yogurt. <laughs> 
it is crazy good and like that type of thing it like you remember one of those mornings you're like kind of grumpy i put it on you're cheered the hell up dude it's a guy in a pompadour going around the universe just doing the weirdest shit and he's great and there's a yeah there's a restaurant called there's a restaurant this is what it's called a restaurant the restaurant mm -hmm. in space literally looks like two tits on one on the, hard, the top and the <clears> bottom <throat> and it's called boobies um everyone before we continue uh loki says he has to run bro I'm appreciate sorry. you being here man thank you. thank you so much guys this was this was fun as hell thank you all of you big guys. time you're always man. welcome buddy thank I you for being you. here bro Steven, eat a big ass bucket. Of <laughs> <laughs> thank, you. Thank, you. Thank, you. thank you, gentlemen. Loki, it's great hanging out with you again, man. Always, brother. Thank you, T-shirt. Yeah. You guys take, take care, bro. Take care, Good rest thank of you so much, man. Thanks, man. All right, Killa. Yeah. So, so I'm sorry. I'm, someone continue. Yeah, go ahead. Could who was last talking? Was it Jed? Steven. No. Steven. What? Go ahead, oh, Steven. Steven. Yeah, that's about it. It's it, it's just one of those things where if you need, you're feeling down because eventually we're going to have to get clobbered and do my Act hero academia. You don't yes, think that's going to happen? I agree. I think that'll, I'm not sure that's going to happen. Dude. It will happen yeah. if I have to duct tape your eyes open, sir. It will happen. I'm hey, afraid Fat, it's not I, I can help really you with that. Happen. I can help you with that. I I finally picked it up. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to yeah. be watching any any anime. Sorry, folks. Oh, <laughs> Clobby. Why don't you hold me no more? Uh, I don't know. I don't want to. Yeah, and that could be the biggest reason is probably because I don't want to. I don't know. That could be it. I need to investigate further. Well, you know, <laughs> what if, I'll what get if back DC, to you. What if DC decides to go full anime in their movies? That would be pretty what funny. That? I wouldn't buy a <laughs> I Look, I didn't ruin the DC animated movies for the past uh, 10 years. Pretty much I've hated what they've been doing since they started. Yeah, same. Flashpoint filth and that uh, D uh, Screw 52 trash. As soon as they did that, <laughs> I've been out. Screw That's 52. Yeah. I know. I, I, I called Screw 52, so, much, 52 so, you know. So uh, 52, 52 works too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Screw 52 <laughs> is, a, is a deal breaker for me. So is Flashpoint. As soon as they did that horrible Flashpoint yeah. paradox. Flashpoint? Yeah. yeah. That, they can we, die we, and rot in hell. We have names for that, so. Uh, do you want to hear a funny story then? Yeah. And it has to do with I Wish. love hearing if funny stories. If, if anyone's heard my post, I use Wish once in a while to get my statues right. So I took a chance, oh. and I paid like thirty bucks for a one terabyte SSD. Yeah, no. Now hold on, let me just let me just get the share up for you. I, it arrived today. Okay, I, I saw the picture. Hold on, and it felt a little light, Cloppy. When you want to share that, okay? It okay. felt a little light. Because it's supposed to feel like like a normal laptop hard drive in an enclosure, so I took it apart. Not mm. only did, the, did these guys like glue a uh, female to female, and then plugged in a thumb drive to it, claiming it was an SSD enclosure. Oh, <laughs> uh, oh no, no, I, I'm care. I, I know the chances. This is the best part. I use software to uh, test right to see how big it actually is and whether or not they changed the code. Oh wait, that's the wrong one. It's an eight gigabyte <laughs> card. <laughs> By the way, anime I, fans, I'm mostly kidding. I would watch one, but I, I would never let Fat Steven know if I watched one. Oh, okay. Uh, 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 so, does just that kidding. look like a one terabyte to you? Uh -uh. No. So, yeah, they're going to give me the refund, but at least I found out. But, yeah, that, that's it. And I'm like, well, at least I got a piece of plastic. <sighs> and it ain't gig good. I'm not upset at all. Uh, but, weird. Yeah. I just I just avoid Wish because it just looks way too dodgy. No, the statues are great, honestly. Like the toy stuff, it's worth getting. Like the Phoenix statue, I'm happy. All the stuff I've gotten, the Venom, the, the the Venom stuff, the Carnage, all that stuff, I'm happy with. Hey, you heading out, Steve Mitchum, brother? Always a pleasure, buddy. Good to see you, man. Hope you have a great rest of the day there, bud. I love right. you. Oh, are well, we doing show and tell yet, or? Uh, yeah, dude. I know our buddy uh, T-shirt historian, T-shirt historian, has some things to show us and talk about. Oh yes. yes. And, yep. and Ash, so if you got surprised. anything? Work, get it ready, man. I don't know if you got anything. And I know retro. If you got some stuff to show, if you feel like it, just saying. It's about time for our show and tell segment. Right. I, I led the way, so now I need all you other dudes to get this going. All right. Come on. Whenever you're ready. All right. Well, uh, anybody who knows me knows that I'm a big board game TTRPG guy. So back, um, I want to say last summer, uh, mm -hmm. I did some orders from Simon for a uh, come for a game called Zombicide, and uh, anyway, they released a thing called Simon Comics, which at first I thought, okay, well I'm not really interested in comics from them, 
but the thing is their comics also included game material so i thought okay i'll buy the stuff for the game material well all that stuff came in and it was just like wow uh not only is the game material good but the actual comics are really good but um like here's a some of it for you let me see um come on yeah there we go is that, is that glare too bright let me change my light setting here maybe it'll a little bit better no nope. it's, it's there no. but we could see it we can see it well enough that we can at least understand what you're trying to show us so keep going see if i do that then it's just like yeah just go back to your one it's preferable yeah at least it's got shine better shine than dark yeah it's about as low as i can get that but anyway okay yeah so this is these are considered extras mm -hmm. to the comic books which is funny mm -hmm. but but you got game material you've got all the stats for the characters and then you've got all the miniatures too which you know i'm a big miniatures guy and they actually look really good uh, but like i said the big surprise was how good the actual comics were because first off that's hardback Woo! and oh, i heard the drop too I look at that, that look at that too. shit yeah. it's thick uh, it's thick it's very thick. Uh, yeah, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. <laughs> and there's no ads in this. This is all pure Definitely. comic from, you know, page to page all the way through. And the stories actually are not halfway bad. And it's gory and violent. And it's just as much fun as comic books should be. And yes, there's cursing everything in it. Nice. So I was I was totally surprised. This was as good as this, and that's just one of them. Because mm -hmm. uh, I got because you you know you could you could buy one, you could buy two, you could buy three. And since I had three games, I wasn't buying into. I got the other ones like Cthulhu Death May Die, mm -hmm. just and this is equally as thick. I mean, look at that. The artwork's good. The paper oh. is heavy. This is this is quality stuff. Yeah, dude, I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. Keep going, uh -huh. man. Don't stop. This is great. Yeah. Um. The soft core. Yeah, and it's not like um, <laughs> you know, <laughs> and it, it's it's not preachy or anything like that. You know, it's just it's just good fucking stories, and they go they go along with the stuff. Um. You know, great Show looking covers. I don't I don't recognize any of the artists. Mm -hmm. But I mean, you know. Oh, I know. Ooh, what's that? Is that more? This is, this is Zombicide Invader. Okay. They're in, yeah, because they had another game that came out called Zombicide Invader, and they built the comic around it. And there were a mm -hmm. few others I didn't buy because they were for games I wasn't really interested in. But uh, but yeah, I was interested in these, and like I said, I'm just I was very surprised at how good these came out. Uh, I actually I'm to the point now where I actually like the comics better than the. Um, Miniatures, dude. Nice. Is that Carlos Oscara art? Maybe not. Um, it looks let me sort of like him. Probably not. It just looks sort of like him. It does can... look sort of a bit like it. Except with an ink. ink. Except with an ink. Who is it? Who is it? Will be on the back, back, cover? <laughs> back cover, like on the inside. It might be on the inside back cover. I don't know. Let me see. It's probably not him. It's just reminiscent of him. In fact, it's only reminiscent, not exactly like it. Let's see. Mark Marco Checchetto Ch and Giancarlo oh, Oliveres. Checchetto. Marco Checchetto. Yeah. Yeah. Giancarlo Oliveres and. I don't know what these new guys said. Marco Checchetto. Marco, well, he um, he was on um before I stopped reading it. Um, he was doing um. He is doing the most recent run of Daredevil before I, I stopped with the current, because the last current book I was enjoying from Marvel was Daredevil with Chip Zdarsky writing, and Marco Cacchetto was doing the art, which I really enjoyed his style. I really felt like a Hell's Kitchen vibe. So he's got talent. I, mean, I my guess is Marvel couldn't afford him to keep the book going. So, But, no, he is super talented, and that book was, was started off great, the first 20 issues were mm -hmm. absolutely awesome then 21 through 25 were good well along with the annual but then 26 happened and well i better not go there but i definitely recommend 
the first 25 of that Daredevil run. It was actually really strong, strong Daredevil material that I would expect. Like, when I expect Daredevil, I expect the best. And that was absolutely phenomenal, the first 25. Ooh, what's that? This is this is one of the miniatures that came for Zombicide Invader, and it's like, look at that detail on it. This is this is oh, not like some detail. You gonna paint crap, that? You know, I'm gonna paint these. I'm gonna paint all these when they're done. I mean, nice. this is the the mother-in-law abomination. Yeah, <laughs> see if I can't get it to. No, no, it looks cool. It's got a nice clear shot, dude. It looks good. And sure. yeah, you can even see she's got like some. Some stuff on her butt there looks like barnacles. It's like, yikes! <laughs> what the hell? Uh, she just like, needs to clean her butt then, you know. So. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what's up with that. Um, and then this is the one for Death May Die. Which, you know, I love anything that's Cthulhu, anything that's Lovecraft. Mm hmm. Wow. Well, like, so this is. Game Did stuff. you ever see when Cthulhu beat the crap out of Justin Bieber on South Park? <laughs> I did not. Oh, it was, it was <laughs> glorious. I, it was awesome. I, th I think Cthulhu just like snapped Justin Bieber in pieces. Oh. I can't remember the specifics, but it was it was glorious to see Cthulhu take out Bieber. Well, one of the things <laughs> I, I can't show you is the fact that when I bought Cthulhu Death May Die, the original uh, set of stuff, I also got the giant Cthulhu miniature, and calling it a miniature is a joke because the damn thing is like almost three feet tall, and it's a miniature that you that you use uh, the game with. But yeah, it's just like a miniature statue. And yeah, I mean, you know, like I said, I was pretty stoked about all this because, like I said, when I was originally, I was just buying it for the game stuff, but the comics ended up being pretty sweet. No, awesome buy for me. Well, excellent, man. Cool stuff. You hear that um, in uh, T-shirt's voice, though? It's a sign of satisfaction for the dollar spent. Yeah, you um, really hear that that much. Anymore. Imagine anything relatively new or recent coming out that you can get excited about that doesn't get ruined. Anime. So it's nice. Always anime, Clobber, and I'll keep going back yeah. to anime. Just to be a dick. Imagine anything. Okay. Raven, buddy? No, look, I hear you. I wish I was into it like you, man. If I was, I'd be excited about it. You know, I will never force it on you until we can hold you and tie you to a chair. Don't worry. Um, <laughs> we had to do that for him with Fortnite, so you know. So, um, yeah, they did bully me into playing Fortnite a couple times. When I actually tried it too, I actually enjoy it. I'm uh, I would. I can't hit a broadside of a barn, but I just hang out with him and annoy him when I play. He's good luck with us. I'm telling you that now. <laughs> they think I'm a good luck charm because even though I couldn't play, I oh was some echo going back somewhere. There. Um, even though I couldn't play, they uh, they they won when I was there, just bumbling around doing nothing. Mark yeah, D, really what's up, buddy? Yeah. I'm really actually an expert player, but I was trying to make it look like I didn't know what I was doing. Our buddy yeah, Mark I don't want to make him look bad. That's what I do during the set. <laughs> I pretend Mark I'm an D expert, but I know I'm trying. had a beautiful haul from his shop he posted on his Twitter. I'm just saying, Mark D. with what? a C. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He, yeah, he's on. He's out on a trip somewhere, and he went to a, a comic shop. That's what, you know, again, that's what all you know, all self-respecting uh, geeks do. That's right. Is, uh, anytime you go to another city, the first thing you must do is find a comic shop. Yep, that's what I'm going to do in Vegas when I hit the Vegas because I know um, John Domayan, the drummer from System of a Down, he owns the, the biggest comic shop wow. in Vegas. And I've actually talked to him before at conventions. And he's a he's an all-around fan of the books. And he's been into he's been into it before like it became like an acceptable thing. So Domayan's a real one. And I can't wait to actually finally see his shop rather than just nice. see him at conventions here in Chicago. I'm yeah, it's called Torpedo Comics. Is a shop. I remember I got a, I got an old school Iron Man book from. I bought straight from him. That that was cool to say. I bought it straight from his hands in twenty thirteen. I think that happened. Yeah, so that's gonna wow. be. I will absolutely nice. be stop at that shop, and I I hope to walk away with some serious haul from there. I haven't been to Vegas since like, like in twenty years, twenty twenty one. When I remember walking into the shop and just you know because I had to go to a comic shop, of course, found a pretty good one. And I walk in, and the owner 
should I know you? And it turned out we'd known each other from years. It was, it was, this it was the weirdest thing. We remember we, we used to uh, we see each other at cons or something. But anyway, it was a pretty good. I don't know if this is the same. I doubt it's the same shop you're talking about. There are a few of them, but uh, mm -hmm. that was a good shop. Of course, all shops that aren't in my uh, neck of the woods are real, so much better than ones we have here. Uh -huh. um, that's why I like to go to. We don't have good ones here. But, uh, you know, still love to go to them. Well, oh, there it is. Keith's Comics in Dallas. Oh, there you go. Oh, uh, yeah. I, I know of Keith's in Dallas. I don't know. I know actually, Lone, yeah, I know Lone Star. I don't know, I don't know Keith's. Hmm. I'm actually going to be in Dallas the week weekend after Vegas, so I might have to stop at oh, Keith's dude, in, in yeah. Dallas. Oh, hell yeah, man. And right. I look, if I had my way, I would get in a big old bus full of geeks and travel the country hitting comic shops. Oh, dude. <laughs> Uh, the few that are left, of course. Oh, I know, right? But <laughs> yeah. no, seriously, like I, I love, like I, that's that's like kind of like my thing is, is like, okay, since I'm out here, each comic shop is gonna have like their kind of unique thing going, and I always have to know what's out there because there's always something that's gonna be somehow at some shop that may be like, oh, hold on, they have it at this price and it's still fine. Well, I have to get it now. Oh, Mark D. I could go in there for an hour and maybe not even find much of anything. And still, just be happy looking around, just being in a comic shop. Uh, and this, I mean, even if they got a wall full of price stuff that I can't afford, like back issues, that look, just seeing those silver and bronze age, and even in some cases, golden age comics on that wall makes me happy. It just, just puts me in my happy place. I love old covers of old comics, uh, mm -hmm. even if I'm not buying that much. But I also try to find something, you know. I like to find. I know. Please forgive me, twenty four. If you're out there, I like to find cheap trade paperbacks and hardcovers. <laughs> you know, find good deals on those. I love those. Mm. Yeah, no wrong with that, man. That's yeah, what's I know, up. right? Yeah, I love that. But I love you, twenty four. And I would. I don't mean to be, you know, sacrilegious. And by the way, <laughs> shocker! I bought a video game yesterday. Oh, Ooh. what'd you get? What'd you get? First time in years. Well, I get severe stupid points though because it's a video game i owned years ago and sold but i didn't think i would play it anymore because i only usually play madden and madden's just starting to piss me mm. off i went back and got arkham knight oh nice you it's on sale that well it's 20 you know, bucks now but do you know what i did the other day it, on mm. xbox they had them for like ten dollars i bought mm. all three games and it See, was, I was wondering all... about that That's yeah a, i was wondering i was going to ask you and, and others uh, are the other? I, I played them once before. What was the first one? Was what Arkham Asylum? Yeah, and then, then was there what? was Arkham City, and then Arkham Knight. Okay. They had all. They had the remade, the remastered versions, the updated ones, mm -hmm. and then they had just. I already had the other one, but I was like, for ten bucks, you get all three, and you get the remastered, updated versions. I was like, I'm gonna just, yeah, drop ten bucks. Well, for that. let me ask you this, or anyone who might know, this this. Okay, yes, that uh, was the prequel. Speaking of origins, uh huh. Let me ask you this. Uh, no, go, go on. There was another Batman. What's a, a game that was not related to those two that I saw? What is the thing called? It Telltale. What was? Oh, the Telltale uh, games. Telltale. Right, oh. I had those. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. those. I know Loki's played them. I think. What I about played them. them. They're good. Yeah, they it's are. So good. You guys are forgetting like another Batman. Another Batman universe, and it was when. Uh, it was a multiplayer PvP, and it was kind of crazy. It was like, uh, oh, I forget what it's called. It was like wacky Batman characters you would choose, and you'd use all the, the equipment. They were kind of messed up against the Joker. So it was pretty much like weird Batmans versus Jokers. And it was like this. Hmm. Oh, what was it called? I don't know that one. I don't know that one. And they don't do it anymore, but I used to play that religiously because it was free on like PS3. Another, well, since we got video game people here, the you know, my, my... Imposters. Telltale yeah. Batman. Okay, yeah, God, I've never heard of that one either, Steven. One question, I know it might may not play any sports games, but you know how EA owns a monopoly on football, but I saw a game yesterday, Maximum Football, that they don't own with Doug Flutie on it. Anyone know anything about that one? Because I almost got it. Because uh, I hate uh, EA. You know about that one? Uh, multiple companies will uh, do, like, sports games. Um, so it's – but it's like EA does some of the main franchise games that loads of people gravitate to. So well, they own the, yeah, they own the FF, I mean, excuse me, NFL yeah. franchise. Go ahead. 
Yeah, I'm just going to add like so for, for soccer example, there's um, the FIFA games, right. um, but then there's also the PES games, um, which is uh, other uh, soccer games as well. What is this game, Stephen? That's Gotham oh. City Imposters. That's the one where like you would use like you would have bombs that were like the j uh, Joker's like Jack in the Box. Ah. This was yeah. pretty like a first person okay. shooter, but it was like the uh, it it was so fun because it was so wacky. I yeah, it was, game. but then they shut it down after about a couple of years because just nobody Tell played tales. it. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get the tail salesman then because uh, you're all saying it's good. I know, I know. I think uh, Purple said it's good uh, on, on Arkham uh, Arkham Knight. At least I I was able to get my Adam West Batman skin in Batmobile, <laughs> to, so yeah. I could run around and get man. Well, and the and, pack I got, you got all the games and all the DLC and everything for ten dollars for all three games. That's pretty good. Yeah, That's pretty good. I'd yeah. like to get. I, I kind of want to get the one. Who was, was who was on with us the other day and showed us one? Um, he was playing. Uh, I forget who it was now, but he was playing. Oh, I think it was Mando. He was playing a game where he got to be the Neil Adams uh, or like a blue, blue and gray Batman. Um, I think it was that that one. You could get that skin, but you got to pay for that one. But, you know, I might try to. I'll oh, still so the Adam West one though. What the hell? It just makes it yeah, more fun. Yeah, I got that one for <laughs> along with the the ten dollars you got on the Xbox. So, yeah. so I think you, I think you thinking of the Arkham Collection, which is a uh, City Asylum and Origins. Um, no, I, I it wouldn't, dude. I don't play that Origins bullshit. I, I'm talking about the three. No, games. Ash, Ash, tell me about Origins. Uh, Origins was good. Yeah, I well, like um, Origins. Yeah, on the origins was basically. Um, uh, I think it, it took place in Blackgate, and you uh, met a lot of the villains as well. Um, and it, it was a really mm. good game. It came for like the um, Asi Arkham Asylum in Arkham City. Um, but okay, it, before but those things, released uh? after City. It, re it was released oh. um, after City, but chronologically, it's a prequel game. Yes, okay. it, it was oh. a holdover game until Arkham Knight Arkham came Knight. out. It yeah. was meant to be the holdover. Uh, Mark, yes. yes, they do. Yes, Mark D. Yes, that's the one I saw. I almost got it. It was the same price as the Arkham City. I mean, I'm sorry, Arkham uh, Night game that I got, the Telltale one. I just didn't know much about it. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, Purple. Wasn't uh, Loki playing that one for a while on, on stream? The Telltale one? I there we go. Asylum, uh, we City, go. Yeah. Origins, the, and I, the Ar Yeah, the Arkham Collection was on sale for $10 on Xbox. That's, gee, that's a good price for all of them. Yeah, I bought, I bought all of them, you but know, they didn't or, give yeah. me Origins with it. I, I didn't want Origins. So. Uh, another vote for Telltale being a good one, Mike, Monkey G. Oh, yeah, Telltale. I, yes. I played I played both of those games on uh, on Twitch. Okay. And played it all the way through. Yeah. And all, oh, yeah, um, 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 the Wolf Among Us. Oh, yeah, that's the one. Yeah. So oh, good. Oh, look, yeah, look, so, look at those skins. Go ahead, uh, Ash. Yeah, so um, originally, um, Telltale were in a bad financial situation. They went under, and then so, um, there was originally going to be a Wolf Among Us sequel. Um, and then once they um, were bought again, they had the money and started hiring people again, um, the sequel to Wolf Among Us is going to go ahead. Um, so we should be getting that um, at some point, um, but that was a, a great thing to play. A uh, great game. There's there's loads of different Telltale properties under Telltale because they're basically just interactive stories with a very distinct art style. Um, so there's like uh, Batman. There's Guardians of the Galaxy. There's The Walking Dead. Yeah. Uh, the yeah. Wolf Among Us. Yes. Did they also and, have and the uh, Tales from the Borderland as well? Yes, yeah, they was, did. That, was I, that is a fantastic one. That is a great yes. one. Yes. A, a special note. Out. A special yeah. note to Clobby though. Um, the the Wolf Among Us. What's so good about that is it's it's the fables. It's set in the fables universe, which was done yeah. by Bill Willingham and DC. Yeah. Oh, really? Cool. Yeah. I like Willingham. Yeah, I like the elementals. Hey, uh, Iron Caster, welcome, brother. Hey, like, glad to be here. I like all these skins. Go to the skins again. There, if you, let's see. Um, yeah, uh, I think you're on the skins in there, nigga. Yeah, I love the one all the way to the left there. That that blue, blue and gray with the big yellow bat. Oh, the one, the... I mean, that Batman animated series one looks great too. Yeah, I love that one. They're all okay. I, I can't stand them when it comes with normal. You know, it starts with you know the uh, the, the Arkham City one, uh, Ridgey. Uh, I don't know the whole. I mean, I guess overcomplicated costumes annoy me. 
I like the simplistic costumes, like like the old yeah. days. And I love that Bronze Age blue and uh, gray bat. Man. Yeah, that that's like my favorite one out of. And I was like, I might try to just <laughs> yeah, yeah, spend the two bucks or whatever to get that one. Oh, uh, uh, I remember the. I remember the Sinestro Corps costume came with the Green Lantern Blu-ray, so, hey, you could go buy Green Lantern, why, the movie. Why would they do that, though? Why would they give Batman a Sinestro Corps? Clobby, uh, yeah, are you yeah. are you a fan of Billy Tucci and the uh, She series from back in the 80s? I know, uh, not really. I know of it, uh, but I never really... Or never, nothing against it. Never read it. I just... Uh, I love the arts nice, of course, but I'm, you know, back then, I read a lot of independent books, but, you know, didn't really... um. It was nineties, wasn't it though? Yeah, ni not ninety four uh, was yeah. when it started. Okay, uh, ninety four to yeah. ninety six. Well, mm -hmm. uh, Billy Tucci just released on Kickstarter the She Omnibus, uh -huh. and and you oh, can, good. yeah, it, it's got like all of all twelve issues of She Way of the Warrior, the Tomoe miniseries, and uh, She versus Tomoe. Ah, cool. He's a good dude. Now, see this? I wish wish this was on play. Something like this was on play. Oh my god! 4. Is that Superman sixty four? Yep, I remember. I wish this it, game. Hell no! Nah. I oh wish it was a good. Nah. I wish it was a good six Superman game for six for play. Right, it's the worst game on Nintendo sixty four. Is it? I never. I've seen. Yeah, it, it, it wasn't good. What drives me nuts is they have all the mechanisms in place to make a mm. good Superman game. Yeah, like they really do. You can't. You have a character who could fly, he could fight, and he could do all sorts of crazy tricks that they video gamers like to do. Like they like to believe in the impossible, and then this game has a character Superman who can do the impossible, and yet somehow it's like they don't pay attention when they <laughs> make these games. It's like they just say, hey, all right, let's just make this, let's get it done and out, and then put it behind us. It feels like they're just trying to put out just to say we have a Superman game, and we know people eat it up because of the name. Mm -hmm. And yeah. Unlike the Spider-Man or Batman games, which are great, by the way, most of them, and there's all this time, love, and attention... As it should be, but I feel like Superman has been blatantly ignored. And, of course, the only games that have been depicting him lately have him being depicted as bad. And, like, I'm just so yeah. freaking tired of bad Superman. So, when I like, we have a 64 game where he's the good guy, and it's the bad one. But the games that are well-received are the ones where he's the bad guy. Like, do you, I, I see a problem with that. Me too, man. The worst part about this game is I didn't even get past the first stage with the rings. That's supposed to teach you how to fly. You just give up. He's like, I, yeah, I yeah. Just, yeah. Like, oh, you're, you're, you're on the rings. Like, I got to beat this in the time, and you're trying to control them. And it's like he's like the camera and the controls. Yeah. It's like one analog stick. Uh, one, well, sorry, one thumbstick has Parkinson's and the other one has Tourette's, and they're both fighting over which way to go. <laughs> I used to love the silly old uh, when the, when my son had Nintendo Wii when it came out, first came out or whatever. There was a Batman Brave and Bold game. It was dopey stuff. I loved it. Just, I love that cartoon. So they won't oh, do it for any so other. So. Love the show. So it was fun to play the game. It was goofy, fun. Yeah, but uh, wow. It would be nice to get a great Superman game. They'll never do one because it won't work. They do it now. Yeah. They always do this evil Superman shit. They almost kind of crap. It. I mean, yeah, you know, mm -hmm. it right. we could have had Rocksteady do it, but no, you know, so they won't have the right costume if they do it or in that kind of crap. Well, yeah. you know, they could, and it'll be grim and gritty and not Superman like always, like yeah. in modern Actually, modern stuff. Oh, the... oh, oh boy, re dude, I want that Superman skin, Steven, so bad. As, uh, 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 Edge, Eldris Alba actually just announced a new skin coming. Bloodsport. Yeah. yeah. Yep. And the new right. skin. Blood sport I'm sorry. Look at that helmet, though. I, I don't care. That, like, that's what I'm saying. It looks like he's looks like he's supposed to be the chatterer from uh, what was it Hellraiser? Yeah, he does. Yeah. Oh yeah. I, I, or almost the, the bottom is, looks like Judge Death a little bit too. I, I ain't gonna lie. I broke down and bought that Snake Eye skin because he looked cool. So. <laughs> now, how much you want to bet he doesn't wear that helmet half the time in the film? Yeah, oh, I know. You know it. You know I, it. But he, the reason why I bought the skin is because the helmet didn't come off. So I was like, okay, I will actually get that. So, and it had a cool machete too. So, uh, I mean, yeah, Katana. Well, Hollywood so. needs everyone needs to see my face. Don't get oh, me wrong. Screw, I, I just, hate that. Okay, Pablo. Yeah, just, yeah I just elbow. That is more likable i'll give him credit there but it is definitely a problem like when i see like the cover of a like of a comic book movie 
just like just wear the helmet or the mask or a all right like it's just weird when they have to show the face of the leading actor unless yeah. it's a character like Thor Blackwell where it's already like that anyway they don't have that but come on just make them wear the helmet on the cover we don't need to see the actor's face we know who's playing it I don't of course their face and hear them talk. actors are like that yeah uh, that was such an obscure character. I actually, I'm gonna, I don't know. This movie probably could be a little fun, though. I mean, Gunn can make something fun. Maybe it'll be all right. When's that coming out? A couple weeks now. Next week. I'm actually gonna go see it next week. Me and my yeah. my girlfriend, we're gonna go see it uh, next Thursday night. I'm. I want this to be yeah. good. I mean, I know people have their opinions on I'm Gunn, and, but I, I really, I want to see it. I know he's a legitimate fan of the books. He is a legitimate fan. Even though he, I wasn't so wild well about Volume 2 of, of Guardians, but I love the first movie. And I feel like he does put more time and attention into DC than Marvel, too. And if that carries over into this movie, I feel like this movie well, actually will be a thing that people will enjoy. The use Do of we know such- that's going to be on HBO Max as well? What's that? It now? will be on HBO oh, I don't know. Max. Yeah, it will be. The, the use him using such obscure characters that he's using makes it irresistible to me. And even though it's cool that he's using Starro, I'm like, this goes to show you how garbage movies are when it comes to comics, even when there's some of them are good. Because, uh, not, you know, I'm not going to go on how much I hate the Snyderverse. I'm just going to say, the kid, he's, a, he's a Justice League villain. You mean I finally get to see Starro in a movie and he's going to be fighting the Suicide Squad? Jesus Christ. <laughs> so it might I, be fun, though. I think that is kind of the gist of it. It's the idea that you have these people who are just basic human beings. Obviously, some are more hu- inhuman, like King Shark and Red Catcher. I think that's kind of the gist of it is because the Suicide Squad are people who have nothing to lose. So they got to kind of do whatever it takes. And they're supposed to be the people who need to do, once again, I know I'm repeating myself here, but they need to do the impossible and taking out a creature like Star I feel like maybe it's just me, but I feel like that concept does make more sense than one would think. I can see why people are like, hold on, Starro, a world-eating creature against just these Joe Schmoes? I mean, I think that's the whole gist of it, is how is a bunch of Joe Schmoes supposed to take down a world-eating creature, and how do you make that believable? I think that's yeah. what they're going for on purpose. It's going to be the fault anyway, so you're not going to be able to, Yeah, they're going to be in because the movie's... Because James Gunn's going to make people laugh with fart jokes and and uh you know potty humor but it'll still be funny it just won't be really a comic book you know? uh, i'm sorry to apologize to people but that this this is the worst part we're getting right now in a couple of days what's this i First can't theory. wait for it are you, are you, are you, well <laughs> are we gonna be able to throw tomatoes at the screen this time <laughs> I, want, I, want, I want s to elaborate once you <laughs> is she gonna be in that costume uh, or, I mean, is that costume gonna be available I, I don't know but her concert's coming and if it's anything like what was it t-pain's costume concert yeah uh yeah but eight days i guess is she supposed to be a robot yeah I, 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 okay I, I, and then i'm interested yeah me too <laughs> <laughs> you had me at robots travis yes. scott my bad marsh we have, they've had marshmallow they've had travis scott before but now we're gonna have aria grande but yeah I, I'll, I'll attend it i'm an epic partner right so i can actually get in there i have a, a, a certified spot with as long as we're to my party but I don't know if the music, what they're gonna, what, what, what she, I haven't paid attention to her music. Ash, have you paid attention to her music? Uh, some of her music, but I'm just a fan of Ariana Grande, mostly because mm-hmm. uh, what, when I was a, when I was a young kid, um, she was in a TV show called Victorious, which is a, a kids show on Nickelodeon. Uh, mm-hmm. This this is going back at least a decade ago, um, and, and that was my favorite, one of my favorite shows growing up. Uh, and that was one of her first stints in um, uh, acting and um, uh, music and anything of that sort. Um, and since then, I've just I just loved Ariana Grande, and um, some of her music is pretty good. And she is a great singer, so I can't what wait for it? this. It was her song "Wolves," right? That that's the one song I do like and love. I love the remixes of "Wolves." I think it was, was it "Wolves." I think so. Wolf? Yeah, it was wolves. So. It was one where she's like near the pool. She, like lately, everyone seems to be near a pool all of a sudden for some reason. They're always like, "I'm wearing a dress near a pool." I'm like, okay, I think that, I think that was the one, wasn't it? <laughs> it's a thing. Yeah, because you know me, I put on a tuxedo before I go swimming. Why not? Hey, <laughs> how some people roll, man. Wolves is by Selena Gomez. Oh, thank you. And what's what's Ariana? I don't see. That's how I touch I am. Selena Gomez. The only reason I know Selena now is because. 
Bieber. And yes. yeah, mostly as hot. But that's it. Yeah. And that's where you're getting. And look, you're getting all this cute little crap I'm never going to touch. And then more cute little crap I'm never going to touch. Still, <laughs> I found Chun Li, though. The funny part about Chun Li is for Fortnite, she came out the same day that article came out going, Why isn't Chun Li in Mortal Kombat? Literally the same day. <laughs> I've got that skin. I bet you do. Honest, You're damn right I do. Honest, non snarky question about Fortnite. Um, I can see, like, if you play with the, the Snake Eyes skin, for example, or something like that, he's a character that uses guns and all that stuff, don't works, and uses weapons. If you're Superman or one of these other characters that are just yep. throwing on there so people will buy the skin and you're running around shooting a gun, it just looks stupid. Well, you got Thor, too. Thor running around shooting Batman. a gun. And yeah. Batman running around. And, you know, characters that don't, it's not their their thing. I know people like to do that anyway, but like if they did the thing, for example, my favorite character, I'd be running around a guy with rock super strength and rock hard hide running around shooting guns. It's like, it just feel dumb. Well, my know. understanding is the, the rules are different in Fortnite because, like, all these guys don't have all those powers and stuff. That's what I'm saying. He's yeah. just, he looks like the character that's running around shooting guns and can be shot. Like, if it's the Hulk or whoever, like Superman or whatever, like, oh, okay. Does that make you feel silly? But you can't, you can't tell when at least, at least the artwork looks great for that yeah. comic we just finished. Like, that's Batman going against Snake Eyes, and they literally ended it pretty much. Well, yeah. Like, they were equals. And, dude, honestly. Fortnite. We're talking about Fortnite and DC Comics actually delivering something. It was a good story too, mm -hmm. and the way. Oh, I don't want to. I don't want to. Does anyone care about spoilers? Go no, all in. Not, not I. Audience. Yeah, five, two, four, do it. three, two, one. Spoiler alert. By, by the end of the episode, it, we we get to see Metropolis, right? And we got one of the characters from the Fortnite this season. We got Lex Luthor, Deathstroke. And they're all sitting in in in, in, in like Lex's fucking um, high rise, and th then all of a sudden the fucking Joker who laughs, the Batman who laughs, walks in, and they're all working together. And then a rift opens up in Metropolis. So we're gonna uh -oh. get probably more comics later on. But like, dude, Mark D, sorry. Oh what? He wasn't done. Hey, R R one, thank you for being here. I hope you're still here when, for us to say goodbye to you. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Love you I'm so sorry. much, Love, lovely lady. So, Bye well, I did, I did give a countdown warning. I'm so sorry. I will I end this now. There you go. I'm not going to lie. I, I probably, if they put in the, the Batman Who Laughs, I probably will pick up that skin. Um, I sorry, Mark. How do, you, how do you get Wi-Fi on the beach? <laughs> he has talents that no one knows. <laughs> I have 80 fish. All Look at Iron Cast. Look at that background Iron Caster has. Look at this here. Yep. Oh, my That's goodness. That, oh, this was a picture I took up when I was I'm on my, my little vacation. Hold that thought, Nick. And, and this thing takes forever to blow up a screen. It's okay. Screen. No, it's okay. Let Iron oh, Castle have it. I like it. Yep. I uh, I went up north uh, into uh, into Upper Michigan to see the Mackinac Bridge, among other things. Okay. Oh. Is it supposed to look like that? Like what? Like, like I mean, it looks like it's going into the sea. Oh, yeah, yeah. Part of it's a suspension bridge in the middle there. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah it's just it has to go between Wait. the two uh, the 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 two peninsulas. Huh. But I did find a little comic shop up there called Bob's Bullpen. Oh, okay, did you take pictures? I did, and okay. I was able oh, to get my me. my Grimlock. Hang oh. On, on. oh no no Hang please on. show it. Oh, happy to be here. Yes. Show the he show is like me. he's built like a brick and I love it. Like he looks great. Came off the wow. Grimlock really? to munch metal. The worst uh, part is never enough metal. It's Grimlock leader of the Autobot. Oh, and it's got Wheelie. 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 Say my friends today. His, Wheelie in the chopper bunch. His his legs literally do not bend. It's just one solid piece of plastic, so he's only designed to ride on Grimlock's shoulders. Uh, hold that thought, Ironcaster. Nick says he has to run, so I'm gonna, if he had something to show real quick, I'll get right back to you. Uh, brother Nick, let me um, – this part of how long this thing takes. By the way, shout out to D. Bud Martin. I did get your emails, buddy, and I and I, yeah, this time. Oh, you I probably got him, got him last. Mike? I probably got him last time. I just lost, you know, got I didn't know about him, whatever. But I got him, D. Bud, brother. Thank you. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So isn't his yeah. book awesome? So absolutely. Thank you so yeah. much for that, man. I get a chance to look at it. It's really helpful. Soon, hopefully, soon. Oh, 
Those are those holograms on those screens? That came wow. with the uh, collector's Arkham edition, Origins. Right? Yeah, this is Ooh. part of the collector's edition. So froth at it all you want. It is worth Ooh. it. And so obviously I, I can't show up because the light is bright, but on the screen is like a lot of the villains. Yeah. And you know, it turns on, off, oh, on, cool. off. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. You Nick, you that, that is cool. Collectible. Okay. That is Nick, cool. Nick, Got the we... bread there. Yeah, Nick, what you should do if you can is find a small LED stick strip of like the, that matches the Joker green or purple and put it underneath the desk. Yeah. And find a way to have it like a USB uh, kind of light. And wow. it'd be sick. Yeah, this nice. came with the Arkham Origins box set. And I remember because I got that was the only box set I got of the game. I remember like I thought it was really cool. It came with that. It came with a, a DC Blu ray on. Um, on the villains of DC because, you know, they, DC does do good as far as villains go. And, you know, they cover a lot of the Flash villains, super villains, of course, Batman villains. And I remember, like, it was just the average show that people have mixed reviews on the games. But as far as the box set with this figurine and the Blu-ray on the DC villains, absolutely worth the purchase. Who makes that? Did you say they came with a Blu-ray? Yeah, yeah it came with a Blu-ray. Oh, hey, right here. Batman, Arkham Origins, Triforce. It says here. Look at Warner Bros. Looks like Triforce sales. Yeah, the yeah Triforce. I think because it's got the logos. I know you guys can't see it, but got the Arkham Origins printed logo here. WB Games, DC Comics, Triforce. I think that's the only. Okay. I think they're the ones that make it. But this came with the box set of Arkham Origins. That's all I could say. I mean, I remember when I bought it at the time. I think it cost me like a hundred. 120 bucks with it was the game, the figurine, the Blu ray, and the nice, cool square box all together as a set. It was around 100, 120. I can't remember the exact price because that was 2013 when this came up. But yeah, either wow. way, absolutely worth my money. Ooh, I remember I guess John DiMaggio, who was the, the Joker voice. in this game. Yeah, he was the voice of the Joker in this game. Yeah. He did the voice from Batman, Batman Under the Red Hood. Yeah, yeah, I liked his Joker. Well, he did Bender on Futurama and Aquaman on Batman: yeah. Brave and the Bold. I met him once. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, he looks almost look like looks like the Batman: Brave and the Bold Aquaman. He used to it anyway. Nice. But, uh, yeah. No, yeah. I li I like DiMaggio as Joker. I but yeah. um, yeah, this is gonna be the part where I cut out. This has been fun. all right, bro. Well, awesome. look, tell us about your channel and what you got going mm -hmm. on, buddy. And everyone, please, there's a link right there. If you have not already, subscribe to my good buddy Nick's great channel. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, um, it's good to be back on here and for a little bit longer time. Hopefully next week I'll have even more time next week. Um, I love the Global Geek Gang. It's always a good time. I got more stuff coming in too, so I have to be here next week to show off the next haul. It's nice. going to be awesome. Oh, I'm going to make sure I try to top it. Um, yeah, on my channel, I I cover all sorts of things. I talk foods, I talk pop culture news, and lately I've been doing panels for Toxic Tuesday. Um, this coming Tuesday night, we'll be talking the movie Speed. We're going to do it this week, but stuff came up, so they'll be happy for sure this Tuesday. And tomorrow night, Friday Night Comic Talk, we'll be talking the indie books that are not big, too. And that's going to be fun as well. And we're, it's going to be, you know, just whatever you recommend, all-time favorites, why. It could be whatever. It could be Image. It could be um, Boom. It could be Comics 8 Books. Just whatever is a non-Big 2 book. So that's going to be what we're talking about tomorrow. So come nice. check me out. Subscribe to the channel if you like what you see. And I'll see you all very Hi, shortly. Buddy. And, Lobrin, thank you for having me on to the rest of the panel. Always, bro. See you all very soon. All right, guys? Have a good, good day. Bye, Nick. Until we do this again. Later, Later guys. Later. See you. All right. The great Nick Weiser, folks, our good buddy. Please seek out and find this channel and, and subscribe. Ah. Um, well, who's else? Who else has got something? The retro, what's going on, man? How you doing? Feeling all right? You still there? You might want to get another beer. Yeah, he oh. might have went. Either Sam's bothering him or he went to go get another drink. <laughs> oh, that's cool. So, uh, Clobby, yeah. I managed to Hello? finally finish through the Fantastic Four read. 
Oh, cool. I'll get right to you. I'm missing with Retro came back. We'll be right there. Hold that thought. Yeah, yeah. I'm, retro. Dudes. Dudes. Yeah, yeah, still still yeah, man. You said anything? Yeah, you I'm actually, like you say, I'm, I'm, yo, I, yeah, I certainly have. Okay. Uh, Don't forget your thought there, Iron Caster, brother. Say I'm absolute. All right. You are on, sir. Retro. We're glad to have Retro back. Is so, there you go. Is the mic muted? Hey, brother, uh, no, your mic good. is... I think your mic is muted, brother. Right. Oh, he's got a new thing. He's all right. He's all, you're on now, aren't you? Yeah, hang on a sec. Yeah. I love the Tom Baker scarf, bro. You need to show us that, too. Yeah. Oh, now you're muted. Now you're definitely muted. <laughs> <laughs> is that any better? Yes, yeah, sir. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, yeah, I'm getting it subtitled. Yeah, 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 <laughs> they're yeah, they're going to be in English, English. That's going to be like, look what I got. Sip a beer. Look what I got. Sip a beer. Look what I got. Oh, oh man, dude. Even that, yeah, logo, no. even that logo doesn't kill it. You need to take that out of there. Oh, no, no. No, no, no. no, no, no. no. no, no. I'm no, no I'm oh, I can't, I can't you afford You need to play with your toys. I can't oh, afford yeah. to. And, um, I can't afford to, and I can only afford the one, so I can't get it out. Yeah, the but box. they're not supposed to be kept in boxes. <laughs> no, 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 no. no Bob, yeah. stop but, uh, asking they... grown men to take things out of the box. It's gross. I know, right? <laughs> only, only people who are bad, <laughs> only bad people take leave things in boxes. <laughs> yeah. you what are you talking about? I'm quite happy keeping it in the box, but Thank you know. You. But this is this was a, an, um, <laughs> <laughs> I can't say it. Uh, <laughs> dude, How do you explain people this, who keep bodies in coffins? Do those sort of boxes? Yeah, this, in the box? this was um, this was an exclusive online yeah, order that's only. Fantastic. So it's you, it's not available in the shops. Um, B and M wow. over here in the UK actually do release these. So I believe in a couple of weeks we're going to get some more specials. So I'll probably be hot footing it down to the local B and M store. You know, Retro, um, when you first B and M, when you first showed that, go ahead, Ash. Yes, I'm sorry. You know, the, I'm sorry, Retro. Did you say B and M? B and M, yeah. As in yeah, like the home furniture store. B &M. Yeah, yeah. They, they, they've, they've actually got a deal with B and M, so this is where you get all your Doctor Who figures from, and you release mm. them in B and M. This is where this is where they all come from. They've got an exclusive deal, so they release all like specials and one-offs. And um, so you got to go to B and M, but unfortunately you got to be quick, got to be in there because all the bloody scalpers, as usual, get in there. Yeah. And you can guarantee, you go in any all the classic stuff just sells out straight away. You know, because all the fans. This is what the fans want. Yeah. And of course, I got all all the. Uh, the Jodie is just left on the shelf. Nobody wants yeah. to buy it. This is what <laughs> they also want to keep it in the box. You they know, also um, want fans to keep it in the box. Yeah. Retro, we just showed that. The Don't other day. say yeah. box. Sam will come in the door and bother <laughs> him. Okay. <laughs> That's great, though, dude. That's an abominable snowman. They need yeah. to finish. The, yeah. they, are they going to animate all those episodes as the Martin Martin asked? Are they going to finish? I the believe. Um, I'm not too sure. I know. I know that the Web of Fear. I think is coming out soon. Good. Oh God. First, I am first, looking, um, yeah. Oh yeah. Really first, Lethbridge, Stewart. Lethbridge Stewart. Lethbridge yeah. Stewart's first appearance. Yes. Yeah. The first show. Yeah. 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 Just, you know, um, yeah I'm looking forward to that. You know, so, did is it? Did he wear the same thing? And remember, he wore it was the same exact. The five doctors. Five, the five doctors. doctors. Yeah. yeah. Yes, I think like it's the same. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. Back there, yeah. I passed. Is catching yeah. up with us. Yeah, that's mm. it. Yeah. Uh, oh, and this is this is this is a nice piece as well because this they've actually when they had the TARDIS on on the actual set, if you notice the actual panel on the door, it's actually on the wrong side. Oh Lord, it is. Yeah, we lost you again. Lost again, bud. I I think Sam's um you know sabotaging over there. You're right? muted again, brother. <laughs> Sam sabotaging you, brother. <laughs> Up to no good. Up to no good. I gotta say, it's, it's the Yeti. Oh, look at the Batman oh. shirt, dude. All right. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there you go. That's that's geeking out. 
nice. Yeah. Love so it, man. Can, I, can you hear me again? Or is that, is yeah, yeah, well, yeah. I can hear you. I can hear you, really. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Again, um, yeah, a big shout out, actually, to one of my compadres in in the actual chat. Cool. Uh, oh, wow. The local, the local, the local store that used to sell That's, these type of things. Oh, God, I love it. Actually, oh. So actually, been shut down. So my my great friend, Disaster Area, in the chat, sent this to me. So nice. thank you to Disaster Area for this, because oh. I was so much, uh, you know. Well, look, look who is there. And look what yeah. time period this is even for. even that logo can't ruin it so good yeah, it's yeah. Absolute, hate that it's logo a, but yeah i hate yeah, that logo too yeah, I, I got the earbuds well, i mean nice you know what i mean this this is a beautiful beautiful a beautiful piece oh we lost nice. again. Absolutely, yeah absolutely what, what's that raymond something happened to raymond oh thought he, we lost him no no we're oh man dude love yeah. it that's beautiful book. But that must be very fairly recent. Oh yeah, this be. is only only recent. I've literally only recent. Yes. Nice. Absolutely. Oh, right. the good old days. Our yeah. oh, doctors. Yeah. I love that. Love the era. Yeah. That's my era there. There you go. Tom Baker. Tom Baker rules. Yeah. Yeah. That's my mm -hmm. doctor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My doc. There's just so many nice shots in this. It's you know, it's just a joy to look. It's just a joy to look through it. I spy a Suntaran. Yeah. Uh, Pyramids of Mars. There you go. It's just like so many great, so many great shots in here. I mean, yeah, I could literally old. just sit here and just go through it all night. You know what I mean? Harry just, Sullivan. Yeah. Ian Martyr. I love Ian Martyr. Way too great young. Oh, there you go again. Yeah. Great writer. Yeah. Great writer. Yeah. He was. He was. Yeah. Great character. There you, too. Uh, there you go. The first Davros. Genesis, Genesis the Daleks. Yes, what a classic story that is. Yes. Absolutely wonderful. And there you go, a little shot of the Mad Comic there is going. Yeah. Lampoon yeah. in Doctor Who. <laughs> yeah. Brilliant. Oh, that's great, yeah. man. I love it. Yeah. There you go. I'll well, say so that's that's all I've got for Doctor Who. The only other Great, thing I've got, I mean, I, well, it's a good uh, day for Doctor Who, even if that. Yeah, it's not it's not I saved know. or anything, but at least no, one, it's one of its worst uh, destructive. It's a little victory. Leaving. It's a it's a little victory. Um, right. Uh, all 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 us fans are absolutely, as you can tell, absolutely ecstatic about it. We're absolutely the, made up. It might bug. be short lived. It might be you're not the only one. There are others who have Pertwee as a favorite. I love Pertwee. It's my second favorite, but I love... Yeah, uh, I, I, I was oh, just about I, to I say that. that. There are dozens of us. He's yeah, my please. second favorite doctor, Thomas. Me first. too, but he's, he's yeah. second. Yeah. He's a great choice for first favorite, though, there, D-Bot. Yeah. He's, he's brilliant. Yeah, yeah. John Pertwee, fantastic. Yeah, well, great. Look who's, look who's here. A great hey, Mark. D, we'll see what you're doing, bud. Hey, Mark. Oh, he finally showed up? <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, a uh, special correspondent from the. <laughs> hey, well, I'm in the hotel room uh, bathroom. <laughs> my son is sleeping. So. <laughs> yeah, so I don't know how Make sure you flush. How, how this is going to work. <laughs> Dude, if he farts in there, we're all going to hear it. You know that. <laughs> um, yeah, you would bring it there, would you? So I got to uh, switch my speakers around, but I got I got a couple of things to show. So I'll be back in one oh, second. Oh, cool. Oh, okay. Okay. Go ahead. We'll let Iron Caster well, uh, tell us, and then Raymond will get to you, then we'll get to Mark. Or we'll, get, well, Mark's got limited time, so as soon as he gets back. We'll let, we'll let him take priority. Yeah, I can wait okay. for Mark. Gotcha. He's, got, he's um, on the road. We don't want to dox him and say exactly where he is at 3249 uh, Mockingbird Lane. Um, 1314 yeah. Dead End Drive. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello there. Uh, let's see. Well, well, we, you know, um, what? I was about to ask Steve what game he's playing. Now I know it was. He was playing a different one earlier, though. What, Wait, what I wish I could have got that Wolverine, Steven. Well, look at uh, oh, yeah. So does, does this Wolverine? Can you, does he have to shoot guns instead of like clawing people? Yeah, he does. does. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, damn it. Wolverine with guns. 
Uh, uh, I still oh, want the Doctor Doom awesome. skin. The Doctor Doom running around shooting people. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> nice. You got you ready, not ready bud? Okay. Mark, are you ready? Oh, sure. Yeah, let me you, uh, share my screen. Yeah, you know, so I know you don't have much time, so I, mean, I know you're in yeah, a no, precarious yeah, position. Yep. Yeah. Let me share this, and I'll share... Uh, so Keith's comics today. I've got oh Apple. I've got to allow. Okay, come on Apple. They always have all these. Oh uh, Ash, I just saw your message. I, we'll get you. We'll get there, brother. Thanks. <clears throat> Let's see. Okay, no, you are you are on center stage, Mark. I'm trying to figure this out now. So okay, I got you. Yeah. <laughs> Engineer, everybody. Uh, Engineer. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You on the phone or what? I'm on my uh, Apple, which I never use. So here, let's see if it. Oh, I got you. I get to the. Let me get to the. Uh, <laughs> I, I got to give him shit about that every single time. Like, yeah. <laughs> did you get any static? Did you get any static from the better half or going to a comic shop? Yeah, so uh, she kicked me out. You did. <laughs> what, did she wait, wait, did she give you like five minutes and you took like a half hour? Yeah, yeah we went to <laughs> we went to lunch and then uh she's like you got five you got five five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> five minutes and five hundred dollars. Go. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, come on. <clears throat> um <laughs> I'm in the hotel. I guess I didn't pay for the faster Wi-Fi too. So, I got you. Yeah, we're, you're good, man. We're just good to, oh, we're go. to see. You. I don't know if you can. I don't know if you can see the screen now, but here, here right here's now you're still camera. an avatar. Wait, right here, let me hit the cam button, Mark. Yeah, let me hear. Start cam. Yep. Let me share screen again here. Oh, Chrome has lost permission. Oh, yeah. Apple users, such a pain. <laughs> so many... that, that's the reason Sounds why like... I I only use uh, you can use Brave the, or that. Why don't you, you show someone a... else? On, show someone else. I got to do it. Show system okay. privacy, security. You got to give it permission to do it. Yeah, Apple, yeah. you got to get permission to. Yeah. Let me figure okay. it out. And not, you All go, right, go to Iron, someone else. Iron, yeah. Iron, do you want to go? Um, you want to go ahead now? Oh yeah, I can talk about some Fantastic Four a little bit. Take you know, it, it's, take it's your time, Mark. Even, like talk about it all for you. Thank you. We're here for you when you're ready, brother. Let's see here. Iron. Go for it. Yeah. Man. Oh, uh, what would you want me to talk about? The Fantastic Four? Well, you or... said you had, I want to get something to show. Dude, you can show that first. Oh, no, you, I was playing with the Oh, cool. <laughs> yeah. Like I said, it's transforming. It a, it, yes. And I got some pictures from Ash to show here, too. Oh. And we got Raymond. I love show and tell. Oh wow! Which I really love the engineering on these because, like the the actual tail tip in this one. Oh, let me fold around here. Wow, sorry, I uh, I don't know how to stage this properly. Anyway, I'll just use the other one. Yeah, so the the tail can fold up and hide away into the back of the leg. Well, it should. There we go. So now he's got this big, like, chunky leg that totally hides away all the tail. Which we can get, we can hide away. The legs have this little double hinge to them. That allows that to fold over. Sorry. Ugh. And also his head. So yeah, so this is a legitimately solid looking Grimlock who looks like he's coming like straight off the screen. Yeah, it does. I mean, my only complaints really with it are these the uh, the little claws here. I, I can't fold these up to get them out of the way. So their only option is to go down, which covers up the hand and also big gap for the yeah. Yeah. It's not perfect and third party solutions exist, but come on, Hasbro, I would I would happily get rid of this piece of garbage for having some hands actually 
sealed up. And also his sword, like Grimlock without his big red sword. Nice. Yep. Cool. That's and you had something to say about you. Uh, you have been, of course, because you know we're all going to be celebrating the Fantastic Four 60th anniversary on August the 8th. And I, Caster, you have uh, read that. Well, tell us about it. you read the, the Kirby Lee run, right? Oh yeah, I've I read up through issue 103, which is where I believe what John Ramita takes over. He does when he takes from, over for a short time, then okay. it becomes John Buscema uh, Senior. Yes. Okay, I was I was I was honestly surprised I was able to remember the the name. But yeah, no, it, it was, a big, a, big it was a lot of fun to kind of go ep episode, you know, issue by issue as it's very much, uh, it very much dares you to uh, not turn the page. Like one of the first, it, like one of the, for example, on one of the issues, it literally starts off with the Fantastic Four are in their, are in the Baxter building. And now there's just a T-Rex, there's a, there's a Raptor running loose and, and uh, the thing has to get a hold of it. It's like, how did this happen? Gotta read to find out. Mm. Yeah. Those last couple of, like, year, year and a half or so, Jack got tired of having all of his ideas stolen and getting pretty much nothing for them. So a lot mm -hmm. of the, since most of the ideas were always Jack most of the time anyway, he held a lot of stuff back. And it, 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 I mean, the art was still wonderful with him and especially with Joe Sonnen Inc. in it. But um, he kind of started... Uh, I mean, in the last year or so, he kind of held a lot of things back, as, as he said. His words, not mine. So, yep. uh, great stuff, though. I'm glad you yeah. man. I love that run. And also, D. Bud Martin's right is right in the time in the chat there. Doctor Doom's time machine. What else? <laughs> of course. What about it, Mark? You okay, right, let's see if this. Yeah, let's see if this works now. I, yeah, I had to go out and go back in, but let's see if this. Uh, Chrome <laughs> That's what she me. said. Yep. So let me share this. Yep. Let's see if that works. Is that working? Um, we're uh, seeing your avatar. You yeah. Do, okay. Hit the. Can you hit the cam button right there? You know where it says mic. Yeah. Oh, okay. Or add. Oh, Mike should be able to add that to the show now. I think. Yeah. On on Mike's end. Yep. There we go. Okay. So is that. There we go. Oh, awesome! All right. Sweet. Well, I right. can see it, brother. You can see it. Cool. So this yeah. is a, a Mark D with the C special report from Dallas. <laughs> Keith's comment. <laughs> so. <laughs> that looks familiar to me. Yeah, that's that's downtown Dallas, isn't it? So it's just tucked into the corner here. It's next to a, uh, it says comics. So yeah. Mrs. Guess, D I'm, went to the salon see, where he went to the comic yeah. store. So, <laughs> oh, yeah. While they were you're both in Dallas, themselves. while you're I in think, Dallas, man, you need to go to Titan Comics. Titan, Titan comics and Lone Star. Okay. Uh, I don't Lone think Star Lone Star really? has. I don't think Lone Star has any open shops anymore. They closed down and went right totally now. online. Uh, yeah, but Titan, .com. Yeah, Titan's good though. You're right. Titan's, Titan's good. a good place. Yeah, I've been there. I don't know what Pocket Sandwich Theater is, but uh, if anyone what? knows, Pocket Sandwich. I'm gonna lie. I'm <laughs> shutting up on that one. <laughs> <laughs> so unfortunately, I can't fit that poster in my uh, suitcase. I was gonna grab that. That's cool. Oh that wow. Poster. Yeah, they had a whole whole set of nice uh, vintage uh, vintage posters. Yeah, that looked really nice. Yeah. That one, and, and you would have to crump it too. And yeah, that would be so, good. No, and you yeah. couldn't take that on the airplane. Oh, Captain well, America punches a shield. Yeah, you have to ship it home, man. Yeah, have to ship it. Yeah. Did they have any other good posters in there? Yeah, there was some nice ones. Yeah, those are some of the pictures that's like in the store. The Hulk hands a mint in box, like one fifty, one sixty. Wow, brand, brand new. I have a set of those, but they're destroyed. You know, destroyed from playing with them with the kids. Yeah. <laughs> in '96, I got a set of those, and they gave them to me for free, and then they got destroyed because you punch with them all. You the punch time. with them. I actually have the yeah. thing. Hand. I have the thing hands actually. And oh I have thing yeah. Feet. Cool. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. Yeah, you do. Hey, look at the can of spam down there in <laughs> the bottom. <laughs> look at that. Spam! 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 Spam, 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 spam. No, Hall of Justice. Did I see Hall of Justice? Yeah, the fucking hey, pop of the Hey, Hall Ash, of look at the pops. Oh, that, cy that cyborg suit, man. I was, I was, I was eyeing that up on, on uh, Big Bad Toy Store. That's gorgeous. That, that thing. Yeah. I'm really not a big well Superman done. guy, but I want that. I want really that well Hank Henshaw cyborg Superman. Yep, like, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I hate it. Why is the Batmobile um, purple? It's uh, or, uh, uh, Kroger exclusive. 
Is it poop or Kroger explosive? I don't know why. It looks pink. I want it. Pink. Yeah, yeah as she'll go. I would probably get that. We don't have Kroger. I love that McFarlane Spider Man, but my God, that's not going to make it back in the suitcase without breaking. Ah, uh, <laughs> no. no, it won't. They have so many cups, uh, glasses like that. If you try to collect all of the different superhero glasses, you'd have nothing but glasses in your house. Yeah. I mean, that's great. There's so many of them. I love them, though. I have that. I may have that Green Lantern one, one similar to Good King Green Lantern one. Yeah. I, I, oh, Tron. man. Tron. That's that's, right. I, got, sorry, I have the the uh, Walgreens exclusive Tron, but just Tron. I, I don't have Sark. Well, those ones are also in Walgreens. You should be able to find yeah. them. Like not, any, not, any, not anymore though. That the red, the red, the red one there of Flynn, and the one above of Sark, you can't find those anywhere. Uh, you want me to go back and get them? No, man. No. <laughs> Did that Sark one? I bet they weren't freaking cheap. cool though. Oh, they, so actually, is that you? Have you seen, have you seen the fan the fan made um, episode of that? Oh, no, I haven't cool. seen it. I bet they ain't cheap. How much are they? Twenty two. It's not bad. It's about what they yeah. are. The friggin' Walgreens. Damn it, man. Is that, is that Flynn below him? Let's see. Turn, There's no price on that one. Is that Flynn, uh, him turning, uh, absorbing the energy of the other, uh, like he did, and uh, turning red? You know, when he yeah, was, infiltrator you know, Flynn. Yeah, infiltrator Flynn. Oh, damn it. See, that's not the same Diamond Select box that the Tron one I got is in. So maybe that's not an, uh, an Eckerd's. I mean, uh, oh, that brief. one looks different. I haven't but, seen that one yet. That's not the kind of box I had for my Tron figure, but the same size, are, probably. Uh, I don't know if those. Are, I don't know if those are old or new. I've no. Yeah, I wasn't sure. They're probably relatively new. I, the mo- I've the seen moment. the Sark one, but I've never seen the bottom one. That's a flint. I've never seen the flint. I've never seen the Sark I've, one either, though. So I, I've seen the Sark, but I haven't seen the one on the bottom before. Damn. Well, it's in Dallas Comics, and uh, he he, se- he sells online too, so everyone wants it. <laughs> that would be the it. yes. That would be the buy, Someone buy it and send it to Clavi, please. I would buy I would buy that uh Batmobile uh, and give it to, and send it to Purple so because she should have yeah. that the Purple Valkyrie purple Batmobile. Batmobile. Yep. <laughs> oh man, I, yeah, these other they keep seeing these at, at Target and Walmart, these multiverse yeah figures. I don't know about some of them. The Harley's oh, got good. legendary. Harley's good. Yeah, yeah. The Harley looks cool. Oh, I, I spy a Robocop. Some Marvel oh, yeah. Right, oh yeah. Uh yeah. Damn it! Yeah, I've seen that one recently that and didn't Eva didn't grab it. Overwatch in the top left. I like that Loki Reaper. right there. I haven't seen that. Which either. one, top left? The Loki. Very, very top Loki. left. The Figma. There's, there's, the there's Reaper and the, is that Diva on the left? Diva and Reaper, yeah. yeah. Nice. May was always my favorite in, in Overwatch. Oh, there's that Loki in that that I that I uh, yeah I haven't got I that missed one that yet. one. I didn't get that. I didn't grab Loki. I'm looking for Red Skull. He's out there somewhere. I'm gonna miss him. Thunderstrike look good. Thunderstrike, too. yeah. Oh yeah. Game, I haven't seen that stop. one either you gotta, yet. You gotta, either. Check, you gotta check game shops, uh, game stops. I mean, they do get a lot of these that uh with Walmart's already out and Target's already out. It's like Jacosta right there. I saw her at GameStop a real Falcon yesterday. Closer to a yeah. real Falcon there at least. I'd like I'd rather see the original costume, but yeah. That Loki <laughs> does look good though. The Robocop's a small figure, but it looks nice. Yeah. Are, are, are they doing I that thing six where six. you got to buy all the figures to put another character together? Build they have to build, build a figure. Yeah. 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 I hate figure. that, yeah. dude. Yeah, they're, they're doing that with the with the new um, Suicide yeah. Squad. We'll do it with everything. Yeah. To make King Shark, I think? Yeah, King to make Shark. King Shark. That makes sense. <sighs> Bullshit, because you know they would sell tons of King Shark by himself. Right. Yep. That's I, right. I want a legitimate Magneto. I don't want the white costume Magneto. I want traditional, yeah. classic, iconic they, Magneto. They've without... done it, but they need to do it with... again. Yeah. Let's see. They've got. You see that, that Predator that, that was back blur. there too? Hmm. He is. That looks like a new carded. Is that Hordak? That's Hordak. That's Hordak. Mm. And Mechanic. Oh, from like the O2 series. Mm-hmm. I recognize that hey. packaging. What's up, Chris Perger, buddy? Back to the future. I sure think I had I... Hordak. I don't remember. Oh, thanks, Stephen Thompson. I'll check that out. I'm looking forward. I'm, I'm, I might be looking forward to that. It's the, it's new, so you know how it goes. Please avert Spawn. your eyes here. 
Spawn toys. Game of Game of Throats. Game of Throats. No one wants those Game anymore. of Jokes is more like it. Uh, look at the Boris Karloff. Oh, the a, Frankenstein at the very bottom. The Frankenstein is that a Boris Karloff looking okay. thing? Goes, they don't have a shirt though. It's a shirtless like, Frankenstein. What the hell? Is yeah. That I wonder if that's that new Frankenstein. That well, relatively new Frankenstein. I don't know. The that's face on the on the box. Jenner. Yeah. Well, the box art looks like <laughs> like uh, Karloff almost, doesn't it? A little bit, yeah. Mm. Oh, these I, the I like that oh, one oh. piece. I like that one piece statue. There right you go, there. Retro. <laughs> retro, you show oh, it up. Uh, make sure, Mark, that you get these and, and send them to Retro. Oh, again. my God. No, no. That is like good <laughs> so, riddance. We don't have to see that for a so little bit. Oh. So we can burn them. <laughs> can burn them. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Do you honestly think fire would touch those things? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, sir. No, sir. You'd put uh, a flame on it and just goes out, you know. A Sherlock was not a not a pop though. It's some made to look sort of like one though, right? Yeah, it's weird. Weird. I'll go back, yeah. It's yeah, so it's like a whole other thing where I think with some where you can just kind of bop the head down and the face spins so you get some different personalities. No, those I know what those are. I have a Spider Man one. Okay, is it Mighty Mugs or no? Oh, the Titans. Yeah, Purple Bat. Yeah. Uh, looks oh, cool. Titans. No, the ones that spin their heads around, sorry to interrupt, are Mighty Mugs. They're a smaller version. And they actually have a hole in the roof because I have a Spider-Man that gets different eyes. Oh, okay. As you can hear me spinning right now. <laughs> but the those ones over there, I believe, are from the Titan series, and that's Titans. Titans that does the mystery minis and all like that stuff. So they do Doctor Who and other things, like you see right there with the Sherlock. Yeah. So that's probably um, the Doctor Who one. If he goes back, we'll probably say Titans somewhere on, or it's like an oversized play, Playmobil. Well, there's a top publishing company called Titan. They might, maybe they do it in, in, right, in, in, in UK. Check y'all later. Y'all take care, okay? You got to run? Uh, I got to run, my man. Okay. Thank you for having me on, though. Everyone, uh, uh, please, uh, I'll put the link in the... Uh, the link is in my description below, actually, for T-Shirt's channel. Please, <laughs> check out them, bro. I appreciate you being here, man. Oh, I anything had fun. On, anything to plug? Anything you got going on, man? Uh, you know, I just on, got uh, my regular Saturday show, which uh, good old Ash ought to be with me, at least. Yeah, boy. All right. All right, well... Uh, if you're not already, folks, please. Yeah, me the, too. The oh, yeah, and Jed too. Please go yeah. and check that one out. Well, I was right. looking at the private chat. I'm sorry. Take care, buddy. Take care, buddy. Appreciate Take it. Take care, guys. Take care, T-shirt. Have a good one, man. Yeah. What is it? The Frankenstein. Oh, it's Amigo Frankenstein. It is Amigo. Yeah. Yeah. Well, wait. Is it those new Amigo Frankensteins yeah. they've been coming out with? Must be the new ones, yeah. yeah. There's a crisis figure below there. Uh, I would I see a lot of that NECA, um, those NECA figures at Target now. I saw them the other day. I went in there. They had tons of them, different. They all look cool and stuff, but they're NECA, you know. And um, I look at oh the yeah, deal, at that BOS Battlefield. They all look cool, yeah. but they're NECA. And you know, watch the retro blasting video on NECA, folks. It's gonna fall apart. It's a, it's a great <laughs> video. Mm -hmm. I, I I have a NECA here and there. I think from way back when, but. Uh, yeah, so, oh, there you go. So I picked up one. I, neck and neck and neck. Huh? Not a bad joke. Never mind. For <laughs> <this other>. <laughs> <laughs> I, I picked up, but I was, at, when I was at Target the other day, I asked my, my son, his favorite thing in, in life is One Piece. And they had a One Piece figurine statue of, of Monkey D. Luffy. And it was the only one there. And I had to grab it for him. It wasn't even in, they had, I couldn't even buy it at the counter. I had to go get him to put it in, like, find it in stock somewhere it was not even stocked in but uh you know i had to get it for him because i didn't want him to miss it so when are we starting the coverage on one piece i don't know uh, that would be up to him and he wouldn't do it when he gets reincarnated and likes anime that's probably what's gonna happen yeah uh, we got yeah. him on Fortnite, yeah, I mean, so you know it's like, by the way, he, <laughs> as much as he loves the, as much as he loves the anime it's actually the manga he loves even more he's a hard 2022 is the year of the mo the year of the anime yeah so I would have bought this. This actually worked in the tank factory in uh, Stratford where they made the, uh, oh, man. M the M1 tank engine. It's actually a jet turbine engine. It's the AGT 1500. So, so dude, you, you should have shipped it to yourself. But yeah, this, I you should have shipped that, dude. Holy shit, I saw this. I was like, oh, I have a small How much one. was it? 
I didn't even want to know, but uh, right. wake down. Have a good one, man. Right, how was your day? Yeah. So yeah, this I'd have to shift back, but I was like, holy! I've never seen this before. The M1 Abrams. That actually. looks freaking cool. It's awesome, man. It's yeah. So cool. But she would have killed you if you would have got that. <laughs> oh lord! Yeah. This is a disgrace. <laughs> and she would have like. <laughs> what I, love, I love evil Knievel, but man. That evil now, Knievel pop is kind of cool, though. That's like, cool. come on. That's but cool. It's, uh, <laughs> oh, look at that Legion issue there. Look, look, look at Willy oh, Nilly back issues. Oh, look at the Savage yeah. Tales bags. It was all, it was all random. Yeah, There's all, Europe, Fable, Yeah, it's very random. random yeah, it's very random. Yeah. And they were all with different issues stacked behind each other, too. So you had to go Weird. through the files. They don't, they don't have them in boxes like uh, with back, regular back issues and stuff? Well, these were like the newer ones he'd put that came in. And, the, you know, and then... Like some of these were the same. Like they had a cool uh, Munsters Wait, comic there. Do they still have uh, long boxes, short boxes, or just they had wall, some wall short space. boxes and a lot of wall space? Yep. But these mm -hmm. racks actually were were nice to go through though, because you could just flip through like twenty issues. Yeah, instead of going through the boxes and some, yeah. you know, stores. And I guess, and, and this was a section like new stuff, I guess, to let people know, you know, oh, okay. something was new to the store. Um, so it was a nice, uh, nice, nice display. I would have yeah. snagged that Kazar right there if I would have been there. Yeah. Like, dude, yeah. Oh, I love these famous one. first editions. This one, yeah, that looked good. Yep. Yeah, that's like Savage Tales magazine. Those are those. I love those old mags. I love yeah. that cover. Yeah. Um, this yeah. one I was gonna buy if I was too big to fit in my my suitcase. Yeah, these were. What was the price on these? I, I, this I, was, I have them, but this was twenty bucks, I think. And this not bad. Not too, too bad. How much was Captain Marvel? I didn't check on that one yet, but they weren't outrageous. Maybe thirty bucks. It wasn't wasn't that, a bad that's price. that's that's decent though. So, Mike, were you telling me you thought someone had this? Thought they had the first edition of Superman? All right, yeah. Or... A while back, you see this first say the first edition of Superman right there. Back in the seventies, when these were coming out, just like the other with the Wiz comics, there, they, you know, of Wiz number two, by the way, um. If you take that cardboard wrapping cover off of that treasury, well, it's not really a treasury. Only Marvels were treasuries, but they're the same size format. If you take that or off, the inside, it's wrapped around an exact replica of Superman number one from 1939. But it's, it is a replica, but it's obviously far big. It's oversized, bigger than it yeah. got back then. That didn't stop people from trying to to uh, sell them, you know, bring them to comic shops to try to snow job people going, this is number one. But yeah. a couple, about a year or so ago, there's one of these YouTube channels that um they go into old houses and stuff. These guys and you know that someone is I get I don't know uh, that have passed on and they're they're finding all this old stuff, and then you can tell a lot of stuff's from the seventies. Well, they found this except it didn't have this cover on it. It had it was it was taken off there, probably for that suspicious reason. And so Man. those guys thought they had a Superman number one. And they were so like, oh my God, is this Superman? And Did you um, a buddy hear? of mine showed it to me. And uh, so I, I actually, I, fortunately, it was, the video was fairly recently put up. So I went into the comment and told them what it was. Uh, and they were really cool about it. They, you know, so they, they didn't really make fools of themselves or anything. They don't know, you know, and it was just yeah. so. so look Did at you, that. Mike, not... did you hear about the, the guy that bought a house and he was taken down the wall? Yes, he found actually. Action number one. <laughs> Yeah, I was like, oh my god, that's like hitting the lottery. And it was like, up north. It had to be up north because it was in great shape. It wouldn't have lasted yeah. a few seconds down here. It was in the wall. Like, who put, like... <laughs> yeah. And look at this. Ten cent comic value to $3,000. Yeah. Wow. That's For back then. Well, yeah. it's still a lot of money, though, yeah. Yeah. For back then that. it was, yeah. yeah. Oh, there yeah. you go. Look. Wow, that's is that... Those are some of the, that's replicas there. Yeah. Oh, that's that great spawn number eight cover the transformers dude i have that spawn cover spawn number eight cool yeah. that is a great cover yeah. all these back issues just kind of it's kind of a strange place to put your back issues now one yeah, of the I, batman i was thinking that too the batman 252 that 51 or that with the joker on there that's a replica that's different yeah, yeah. So the other ones oh. are actual back issues yeah. So you buy that Eternals just to flip it when the <laughs> movie comes <laughs> out. Yeah. Yeah. yeah flip it quick yeah, like there's a new Silver Surfer there. That's a, the, not even the original series. That's the series from the 80s. Yeah, right? the Turtles 80s, right yeah. there. It's not the Kirby one. Oh, we got a Star Log down there. Yeah. Which oh, one I, 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 on top of it. 
I missed it. Oh, actually, I didn't see that. Is that well, that's still oh, number the Monsters three. comic too? Somebody put a comic book over. Oh, that's number, number two or three. Two. Is it two? Yeah, I have that oh, one. No, crap! I've got to go buy that. I got to go back. I didn't. My, see wait, are you going to actually go in there and get that Starlog? Marty, 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 gotta go back. Oh crap! Go that's back. number two, dude. Go buy that. I don't know what it's going to cost you, buddy. But I gotta go. I gotta find. I gotta walk there. You need to go back and get that, Mark. I didn't look it up. You might not want to spend. Oh, look at! That. I love famous monsters. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah, famous monsters is. Awesome. Well, it's only a ten minute walk anyway, so it's not like. A yeah, go walk. get that star log. But, yeah, I didn't know. see that guy. I was like, he took a picture and he's like, "Wait a second, I didn't see that." It's oh up my, it's got a <laughs> comic on top of it. Yeah. Oh, look, the old Marvel Battlestar Galactica comic right over there. Yeah. They didn't mind you taking pictures, obviously. No. Really? Yeah. Not that they asked. Pretty, it, so. Yeah, they were pretty. I am like, let me excuse me, like I take every page. Yep. <laughs> so there this is the, the Enterprise B. This sucker nice. is expensive now. What's it going for? Let's see, 125. Oh, jeez. That's crazy. Yeah, that's nuts. I only have one of those, unfortunately. <laughs> oh, well, you could get two. <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> the missus <laughs> would kill him. I think this is 30 or 60 bucks. I almost bought, I would have bought that yeah. cheaper. That, that's a cool I would have snagged that too. Super friends. A nice cover, yeah. Yeah. There's the missus. So she kicked me out with her friend. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's Mrs. D. <laughs> they, well, they went in the shop. Wow. Just to get you out yeah, of there. Probably. To get me out. Yeah, yeah. She, she knew. She's like, hey, I need to go get Mark out because he's never going to come out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a 181 there. Well, it's, a, it's actually a big poster. It's a big poster. Yep. Nice, man. I and love it. I went to, I went to kind Target. Of I went to Target because I, I forgot my mouse on this trip, so I went to buy a mouse. And of course, I'll go through these fast because uh, I got. <laughs> go, go for it, man. No, I got you. Go for it, man. But these are Legos and Star. You know, of course, nice the old shop. stuff is. The old, this is uh, Target, Target, but. Uh, you just put the word up. comics up there. It doesn't have the name of it up there. Or anything on that yeah. on that wall, yeah, right? Comics, yeah. But uh, of course, I'm sure the new old Star Wars stuff is the stuff that sells. Yeah, this is just. Hey, Target. I'm shocked that Baby Yoda hasn't been bought. Yeah. Now all of them complaining of I like that. Oh. This, this I like, yeah. <laughs> Look at that Superman stuff. Oh, <laughs> there you go. Yeah. <laughs> Retro <laughs> play. Yeah. The one say they see that Hi. new show. It sucks, dude. Yeah. Look at the He Man stuff. Oh. The figures are nice. Wait, wait, wait. Look. If you keep them on screen for about thirty seconds, it'll be more screen time than he gets in the in the show. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that the 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 uh, are did you have the new figures out yet? Because Tom showed me the new figures. Well, these are the new ones. Yeah, this is no, I'm the, for the the next show. Oh, I haven't. I don't know. I don't yeah, know they look they look they look horrible. But Tom is actually saying that the new show might be better than Revelation. So, oh yeah, yeah that a show does yeah for the kid. Why is there a new show? The kid. Why are they doing two of them? They are making the announcement. This was being announced when it came to Revelations and Master uh -huh. Master two mm -hmm. one two. Revelations was more set for the younger, for the uh, older adult oh, okay. kind of fans, while this one is CGI, full CGI, and is modeled more for the younger kids. Gotcha. Yeah, well, that's right. Yeah, here's something about that. Nice stuff. Oh, love these. Oh, these. dude, look at his loot, dude. That's awesome. A lot, a lot of memories here, brother. Yep. So these, are, these are the ones that I picked up today. So uh, let me show you those. And you won't get mad at me for pointing out reprints no. like twenty four. Like twenty four. No, I, know, I know which ones. The, are the X Men. Yeah. Yes. Uh, only. Well, you only have three reprint reprints there. Actually, yep. four. Actually, four. Reprint. So, uh, this is a nice one. Love that Simonson cover. Yep. Oh, exactly. Yep. Yeah, so I don't know. Man. I don't know if that's worth any. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I thought the that's the first was Doctor Who American comic, and even though it's a reprint from British comics, it's the first yeah. time Doctor Who ever had an American comic. Yeah, Marvel premiere. So I said, "Oh, that's cool." I got this Star Trek look really nice. Like the, the cover so another that. Eight, two straight Simonson covers. One Doctor Who, one Star Trek. Weird. Yep, I love that cover. So it looks kind of like I the TMP. It, yeah. I don't know if that was a TM. I've got yeah, to it was, it. that was the Marvel one. It was based. It was their adaptation of the TMP. And it continued with those uniforms and everything until yeah. issue seventeen or eighteen. Then it was gone. 
This is number 17, I guess. Do, 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 do. I got to crack that. It might be the one. last one. I can't remember what the last issue was, though. Yeah. Da, 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 da. Was it not? Yeah, that's the TMP hey. uniform, number 15. Yep. Yep. That can't oh, be Captain but it Kirk. Is doctor. Yeah. <laughs> it can't be that Captain Kirk. <laughs> and from Atlantis, yeah. that TV show. Man, that, that show, I don't know. Oh, I tried oh. with it. Didn't last long. You like yeah. that one, right, bro? Yeah. I, When's I the reboot that. coming? I liked it. I actually like. I used to watch yeah. that as a kid. I loved when are it. they going to do the reboot for this and screw this up too even more? <laughs> like, uh, no, well, no one really knows about it. I mean, unless you, you, you know, so they probably won't. But yeah, so unless, you're, unless of course you're Kevin Smith who's trying to make a show about it. Man, yeah. I've always been a fan oh, of the yeah. man from yeah. Atlantis. Superman family, love it. Yeah, I love those old Superman fans. Yeah, Los yeah. Andrew cover. So it was back then it was a dollar, so now it's two bucks, right? It's probably cheaper now. Yep. Yeah. That was those oh, I love those all those dollar comics in the seventies. That's a reprint, sorry, buddy. Just but oh, you know. I, know. I yeah, I have uh, have this one. I think uh it's a reprint of number eleven or is it reprint? 112, oh, John yeah. 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 Love it. Have, That's I not too far original. after you cut off uh, their um um Iron Castle is right not not too long after Kirby left. Oh man, Aparo. Yep. Love it. Jim Aparo, Batman. Love Batman. I love the Brave and the Bold comic. Greatness. But it I looks like it anime. No, it doesn't. <laughs> if it did, I would hate it. Just kidding. Uh. <laughs> oh yeah. I what if when it was good? Yeah. Cool cover. <laughs> What if Nova had been four other people? Reprint, sorry, but that's a reprint. No, I, I'm, just know, yeah. I'm just messing with you. I know, yeah. I know you. Hey, yeah. <laughs> this is a reprint. I love, but I bought it. Look, I loved it because yeah. it reprints O'Neill. But at that point, you couldn't get that story unless you yeah. paid big yeah. When this came out in the early '80s, you yeah. couldn't get those issues. They were expensive, so yeah. you got yeah. to read it. Yeah, and it's yeah. a Great nice cover. paper. Oh God, yeah. Yeah. And he did that cover. That cover's not a reprint. How about that? Yep. <laughs> just the interior. So at 150. Another, yep. Yeah, I think I was still buying it at this point. Joe Staten uh, doing the art kind of aggravated me. Ah, uh, Karate Kid. Karate Kid. He, uh, yeah, what, remember the Legion of Superheroes who got stuck in the past because DC wanted an excuse to have another uh, Kung Fu title because yeah. Kung Fu <laughs> books were all the rage and Shang-Chi was really selling Master of Kung Fu and it just didn't quite work out for him. But I love Val Armor, great Legionnaire. Yeah. I figured I'd grab that. That looked good, yep. And then Freedom Fighters are classic, yep. Yep, love it. Well, I bought a lot. I love Phantom yeah. Lady. Yeah, Human Bomb. Like Human Bomb is always one of the most interesting characters. There's a guy that can blow up. Yeah. yeah you can say, right pull there, my yeah. finger. Pull my finger and it can blow, blow up. Blow up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Uncle Sam was always great. Yeah. And then he did Dom, that. Dom, Dom, and Dom man. <laughs> Innocent. And Dom and Man in the Ray. Yep. Yeah. Uncle Sam. <laughs> Great episode of Batman Brave and the Bull with them, by the way. And this was a good search. comic. This is, of course, where it. Yeah, this is still the adaptation of the first episodes, but after that, they did their own stories. Um, after they adapt the first two episodes, it's a Pat Roderick cover, but I loved uh, that comic. Yeah, I, had no, a, I had a subscription. So, yeah, so I saw the number two. I'm grabbing that. <laughs> nice, and man. Then, are you, sure, is this, are you sure that this is a reprint? No, this is the original. <laughs> the original. Oh, it's That's a reprint. Actually, number one. No? <laughs> I mean, number eight. Nine, nine, whatever. Nine, number nine. Yeah. Nine. It's absolutely the real deal. The real deal. Yeah. Even Don't though it's not on the cover, right a, it says on the cover, a reprinting of X-Men. <laughs> <laughs> You got so cool some money there, Mark. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, it's been a long while since they did these. It might be, you know, some of these reprints end up I think like those facsimiles they've been doing, they're starting to jack prices up on those things. Which yeah. I don't know why on that. For well, because nobody cares about new comics and the facsimiles some people actually want, I guess. And the print runs aren't what they used to be, you know. Well, I don't know. It's still and dumb. They, and it's got a, they're fun because that has all the ads in it. You can get your uh, your sea monkey. Oh, I love the facsimiles. Yeah, they're great. I really yeah. do love those. Ah, uh, Grell's Warlord. Great stuff. Toxic, toxic female gaze here. Well, was he a toxic earlier? I, I want to interrupt <laughs> quickly. Um, Forty-three dollars for a pure diecast transformable Optimus Prime. Yes or no? Should I get it? Which oh, yes. uh, we're here to enable. Edition, what? What year? Original. Uh, this is the SS thirty-eight model, full diecast. 
Wow. <clears throat> I'm no expert on that particular topic. It sounds like a good price, though, man. Let's you got a picture, a picture of it, Stephen? Is that all of them, Mark? That's all of them, yep. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Thank you. Yep. Oh, Absolutely. of course, brother. Cool stuff. <laughs> I, I'm Absolutely, cool. man. We appreciate that. Oh. Great stuff. Oh, yeah, that looks like it. a good price, man. Buy From it. 240. Buy it. Buy oh, it. hell, Steven, yeah. get that, dude. Buy it. Buy, Buy it. that. It is, Buy it. It, it is 18 Buy centimeters it. tall. Buy it. Wow. Yeah, buy, buy that, it. dude. Buy it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, buy that. Buy what it. are you guys trying to say? It's buy, it. buy it. Uh, yeah, I am, but yeah, buy that. What are you guys buy trying that. to say here? Possibly, possibly, maybe buy it, maybe. Uh, yeah. Think, think about buying uh -huh. it, is what they're saying. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, I got to run. I appreciate get, getting on real quick here. And, uh, I Hi, get bro. To the next, well, cheers. Be good, like, man. Yeah, it's in a, and I'll be Thanks, maybe buddy. in a chat a little bit, but I'll catch you guys later. Thanks for All right, brother. Have a great trip, man. Yeah. Take care. Yep. Take be care, good. Be good. Take Thanks. care, bud. Bye. Don't Bye. lock yourself in the bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Raymond, what you got there, bub? You're very – you can have your very own. I can't see it. You're moving it. Boom. Oh. Oh, oh my yeah. goodness, we got cops. Wait, wait, wait. Hey, hey is it cops. Flipper versus uh, Free Willy? I don't know. This is the Devil Ray. This is the uh. this is the hero ship. Oh man. Oh. Let me see that. Dude, that's awesome, oh. Raven. Oh, yeah. On your left. Fat you for hire. A great fat for hire. Well done, oh. fat for hire. Fat for hire. Uh, came hey up there, with the kid. design and hey. Dazzle made the cups. Dude, that's amazing, man. Nice. And then it, love it. It, it fit good on the cup too. That yeah. looks nice. And then for your ready room, the squadron patch. Oh, dude. Nice. That's nice. cool. Nice. Huh? A little merch coming for the dolphin wars. Um, yeah, and on the other side is again. Devil rape. I like yep. that ship. Yeah. Nice. Hell yeah, man. Yeah. When are we getting wow. Raymond's cut face on a cup, though? What? When are we getting your face on a cup? <laughs> <laughs> you should really do that. You should Buy look for a color. coffee mug of you holding different versions of your coffee mug and then sell it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I will let you know by when it gets here. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, Dude, that's nice. Oh. So you got to do oh, like the unboxing or like a showing of when it arrives. Yeah. Nice. Um, I've got something from Ed. If anyone else has any, nothing else, I have one from Ash now. Yeah, and I, I only have one picture, too. So. Oh, you got one? Where I, is it? Where is it? I, it was the He-Man Shearer thing that I actually pulled out and, uh, and unfolded it. And we, did you send picture. it to me? Yeah, it's in, it's in our private chat. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, all right. All right. Yeah. Let's hear it. Let me, no, I, 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 had, I had it folded up. I actually got this when I was in the movie theater when I saw it when I was a kid. So <laughs> you can see the fold <laughs> lines and everything in it. Because I, okay. I was like, <laughs> you find it. Uh, how far back is it up there in the. Uh... It was the He Man She Ra picture. Uh, I don't see it in the private chat, dude. You sure? Or you mean in our, fa in our Facebook? In our, yeah, Facebook. Yeah, the, yeah, the oh, okay. All right, gotcha. All right. Well, let's see here. Uh, oh, okay. I'm sorry. I thought you meant an yeah. Oh, no. It's, it's okay, bro. Um, the one yeah, with I, the I, I, man and she and yeah. she -ra? Okay. Yeah, I was. Gotcha. I actually, because I, I, Mark's been like, dude, you have so much cool stuff in your room. Pull some stuff out. So I was just like, I'm mm, in the same boat. I can't get the money. Yeah, yeah I, cause I, uh, I literally showed Mark in iron the other day that like literally everything is boxed up or caped away and put away. But I actually found this and cause I was going through, you know, cause we had that stupid thing that I had to do. And I actually, I went, I came through it and I was like, Oh wow. So the, I got this <laughs> when I came after we went to go see secret of the sword um, you, the, you had He-Man and She-Ra, these guys in He-Man and She-Ra outfits, and they gave them to you as you were coming out of the movie theater. So this is 
mine right here. So. So they had guys dressed as Shira. Yeah, they no no they had a chick. And she was <laughs> I, really super hot. Guys, I was just with. Yeah, she oh, was cool. really super hot. Cool. And she was all dressed up in a Shira outfit. They had the sword and everything. Oh. And he was cool. dressed up as He Man, but. I got a picture of that. I actually got a picture of a little me, but um, that but was yeah, a good I, back gave then, me, is what you're saying. Yeah, I was so, super little. You said it was I a good while. Okay. Yeah. So, so they, the, they said that in theaters. They yeah, this was in the oh, movie okay. theater. I didn't know. Okay. And this is the poster they gave you when you right. came out of the movie theater. Oh. So cool. yeah, they gave you the poster when you walked out of the movie theater. So. Wow. So Damn. That's Very that's cool. my that's my because. You know, so I, 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 I'm thinking we should sell some decent He-Man instead of the crap we've been seeing. So, you know, <laughs> so very cool. Uh, let's see here. Well, yep, I hear you there. Um, Ash Man. has Ash has something for us as well. Um, <coughs> let's see here. Let me get that on there. Ash, um, it's just a little thing. It's not too big. Um, it's just my bad. tiny manga collection <laughs> that I got. Well, your tiny manga collection ish. I don't know what you're implying with that comment, but yeah. So, <laughs> um, so um, these okay. I'll put them on the side because these are um, uh, it, it's too uh, high, uh, tall to fit in the long box. So, um, I like all the others. Um, so I've uh, so that's the Ocarina of Time Legendary Edition. Volume one of RWBY and volume one of uh, Blade of Shaojun from Assassin's Creed. Um, I'm surprised uh, there's an Assassin's Creed manga. Um, as soon as I, I love Assassin's Creed, so once I saw it, I was like, I had to buy that. Um, and then that Assassin's Creed one I got literally like yesterday or the day before. And this is like, this is this is a full long box length of stuff. I added the Star Wars books on the right just to. So they don't. Um, oh, fall dude. Over. Okay. There's the books you told me you got too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that, Did that's you read all three oh. yet? Oh, no, the only no. doubt is that for the Legends editions. No. Yeah. Um, I'm, a very, find, I'm a very slow reader. He couldn't so. find the others. I tried to help him. Ash, find it, yeah. but, question yes. on that. Are you have a uh, Goblin Slayer. I noticed number volume three is different from a different yeah. printing run. Is he yes. just changed it? Uh, like they I, do I, like? I, I, I will get to that uh, in a minute because um, oh, okay. uh, I that's love Goblin Slayer. So, uh, I'm so uh, stuff like that. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah, no, no, that's fine. Um, uh, so, from on the left, we have Full Metal Alchemist. It's a, it's a they class them as like omnibus styles, uh, and it's basically oh, okay. like three volumes in one. Uh, so, we've got the three in one of Full Metal Alchemist of the first three volumes. First three volumes of Yu Gi Oh! Then we've got volume one of Black Butler. Uh, I've heard a lot about. Black Butler, and um, so I was like, you know what? I, I saw the um, volume one, I thought I might read the manga for uh, volume one of Mercy Lago, um, volume one of Pokemon Adventures, uh, volume one Great of Great Series, Berserk. Yeah, yeah. um, Berserk. I've left that in the um, the wrapping. Dude, um, you got volume one of Black Butler too. Nice, awesome. y yeah. Um, I've got, I've surprisingly I've got a lot of volume ones I managed to find. Volume one of Seven Deadly Sins, One Punch Man, Dragon Ball Super. Those are all volume ones as well. Um, so um, as you've already seen, uh, Goblin Slayer volumes one through seven. The reason three is different is because that's the German version. I can't find an English version anywhere but i still wanted to like flick through because the, the art would be the same it's just the uh, the text is a different language um so at least so i can still get a gist of what's happening in the story and uh, it's not too hard to figure out what's going on um and yeah so i've been reading through that um and uh once of um the two volumes i don't have yet is volumes eight and nine ten is going to come out in august this year um uh, because this it's Goblin Slayer is still an ongoing series. Um, and there's also the light novels of Goblin Slayer. Uh, volume 11 of that is coming out this year. And there's also like side story arcs of um, Goblin Slayer as well um, that I'm eventually, eventually going to get. But yeah, so, and then all of these books, including the Star Wars one, that's a full long box length. Um, and these the sideways. So. Um, that nice. gives you an idea of uh, like the, the thickness of these books. We don't. 
so you could still there's still a third issue third edition of that that's normal that's come you know, yeah yeah with the yeah it is that there is a normal one out there and hopefully i can get that uh when more come out because i can't find it even even online on ebay um you mm. can find the odd third one here and there but right. it's like in a collection of the first five volumes that someone's selling um and i've already got the others and so i was like you know what there's a german one um th that's available i'll buy that so i can still look through and uh, appreciate the art and get a gist of the story um but eventually when more get printed um or hopefully one day i'll eventually come across one somewhere um i'll get that well that at least that's the case because dc with their damn masterworks and even I mean, excuse me archives uh, marvel does mm -hmm. masterworks Marvel does it too. For they will do, um, like, for example, my Legion of Superheroes archives. They have, they look, you know, when you put them on your shelf, like you have those. On, on the spine, the logo is exactly the same for the first five issues. Then issue six, I mean, not issue six, volume six or seven, whichever one it is, they totally changed it. It's totally different than the next one back to the old way again. So it looks ridiculous. I mean, I mean, I know it's a pet thing. And I saw a guy post on Twitter. I thought I was the only one about this. He says, "What in the hell, DC?" And he posted a bunch of these, like their these different uh, their archive collection. They're so nice, such these hard covers, such nice books with nice art on the spines, all this stuff. And they're all uneven. They're, they don't match when you put them on your shelf. You, you know, I have like ten in a row that look exactly the same. Then one by them for no reason. They try to change the font on it or change, put it in a different spot. Then the next one are back to normal again. It's It sounds like a little bitty thing, but it's kind of annoying the way it looks it's, like it's it, Yeah, the, your OCD goes nuts when you see it. Yeah, it's like, what? That's what I like about the Marvel Epic collections is that those have been... They stay the same, yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. It's a little I thing, but like, it is a little annoying. Go ahead, uh, Steven. Uh, I would just like to say that uh, Superman's cape is too short. On that cover, that's all I'm gonna say. Uh, <laughs> oh, that hardcover from the other night, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Kryptonite, never more. <laughs> oh my goodness, we're gonna start wrapping I, up. I, I oh, go ahead. Yeah. yeah, anyone who has anything else before we go? Mm, no, I, yeah, I, really. promise, I promise to uh, do the uh, Optimus Prime on the Global Geek Gang if that suits your needs. Absolutely, would love to see it. Oh, yeah. um, That'd was, be great. Take, when is that coming? How long do you think it'll take to come in? About two weeks, maybe less. Really? Okay, it's coming from quite a distance then. Somewhat. I'm hoping it comes. Yeah. Well, that's cool, dude. Um, well, maybe if we could time it right, we could do like a Transformers themed Global Geek Hey, Look, you guys want to do that? Transformers. Hey, look. Absolutely. I know there are a lot of fans of it out there. I can. I can see if I can dig out some of my comics and put some comics up too. Well, yeah. um, I just start grabbing figures off the shelf. <laughs> yeah, my oh, yeah. my figures are all. I love it. Put they, away they did, they did the whole line of like the Cybertronian ship designs. Yeah. Yeah. So I, got my, I got my Thundercracker. I like it. Nice. And of course, you know. If there's any one brand, if there's any one uh, IP that loves to recycle toy designs, it's Transformers. Because I have the same one in purple and red and. <laughs> so like, so like Hot Wheels. One other one at least. Oh, Is there yeah. a pink one? Probably a pink one. There yeah. will be. There will be. I don't think yeah. so. Hot you Wheels know they'll back. probably do a pink they one. They just repaint <laughs> Hot Wheels over and over again. Which, if you're a hot collector, still buys them all. You got the same car twenty times. And I'm not, but I know a lot of collectors. And oh, who collect I, I might as well. Like, oh, you can't just have one Grimlock. You've got to have two. <laughs> but they're both out of the box. They're not the same. Yeah, now. because I can play with them. Well, I'm with you there. That, I, I love the elaborate. <laughs> I just love the elaborate transformers, mm. transforming games. It's why I don't really, it's why I do not collect the uh, Gen 1 toys. I think they're just too simplistic. For my taste. Well, I'm while I, while I got you up there, plug your channel. Tell us what you got going on, buddy. Oh, let's see. Ah. I, of course, am Iron Caster, and I sometimes talk about big robots. Uh, I have a regular Monday, or my regular Tuesday show where I go through the original 
uh, Mobile Suit Gundam. And we'll be on episode 11 next week, which has been an ongoing regular series, except for like one week where I was sick. And I am looking to talk about some more stuff. I want to, you know, do a little more coverage and things like I might actually start buying a Marvel comic book regularly. Oh, no. Well, I mean, the that. one that's actually surprisingly good. You didn't tell Ultraman. us. Ultraman. Oh, okay. I, oh, I hate to butt in, but I do got to go to the delivery driver waiting right. downstairs. For my apologies. Right. That's all I got. Okay, buddy. Uh, I'm, well, all right, man. Uh, you got to you, you, go ahead and handle that, but I'll put your uh, link in the chat there, bro. All right. All right. That Ultraman sucks. Um, yeah. Oh, there Maybe, you go. Man. Yeah. I wish they would do the but, rest. Uh, I want Ultra 7. I just want to say thank you guys. Again, always. Thanks, buddy. Uh, Appreciate you. The second part of We Got This Buttered with the Smodcast with the Kevin Smith shit. We're doing it live. Tonight? Purple. Yes, Purple will also be joining us as well as Viking Out of Time, and we'll have some other people. Thank you. Fantastic, man, everyone. Everyone here. Thanks, buddy. Chat, you're all amazing. Thank you. Be good, brother. Bye. Take care, Bye. dude. Take care. Take care, brother. Take care, man. Uh, let's see here. Um, well, how, why did I end up so low? Oh, that's weird. Okay. It's it so likes low. to default to that. <laughs> yes, yes. My stream is just slower than me today, and that's slow. Um, let's yeah, see is. here. The great, <laughs> it is. I admit it. The great Raymond. Raymond, buddy. Hey, guys. Uh, obviously, tell us. You know, I don't have the link, so you're gonna have to. If you're a mod, you can put it in there. I don't have the Zen link yet. I do. I will get that in the normal description. I don't have it yet. I do have a link to your book, your Zazzle link. It's in the it's in the website. I've got it uh, linked but do to I, my well, website. It, you, mean, you mean what the books are? Yeah. Well, all right, in other words, this 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 one right here. Let's see the one I always put up. Let's see. An Amazon or no? Uh no. Uh, just go into here. Yeah, I'll I'll put it up for you. I will just put, put that up there, and I'll get it in the regular rotation of the thing. But uh, so. Uh, dude, tell them about the, 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 your Zazzle stuff and what's going on. Uh, we're helping to promote the book. We're, uh, we've got some shirts. We've got, uh, obviously, the cups. Uh, we've gotten... Uh, uh, we've got Dolphin Wars uh, designs on card things. We're putting them on everything. Anything they get it out there. Uh, I had a signing event last weekend. Uh, I'm going to be having another one in August. Nice. And, and again, anybody who wants a signed copy, who unfortunately just in the States, um, just uh, give, give me a, a get on my website, send me an email, and uh, uh, we can figure out a way to get you uh, autographed copies. Nice. So, Excellent, bud. Appreciate it. And of course, um, you know, you... book three is still in the uh, book three is in uh, editing still, and starting to work on some ideas for a fourth book, which I didn't think I was going to get. But nice, it'll be the fourth in the trilogy. Yeah, <laughs> remember that from uh, Douglas Adams with the Hitchhiker's Guide books. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, the third hey, book. hey, hey, Raymond. When are you gonna have Free Willy and like Flipper teaming up to beat other people's butts? He, he's working yeah. on that. Give him time. <laughs> I want to see may, that. May <laughs> have to do that. He's working on that. Give him time, man. So, you know, I want to. I want to see that so bad. They're like <laughs> just yeah, pro fisted. They they hit fins and they go in and <laughs> kick some butt. You yeah, know that'd be awesome. <laughs> that'd be a good. That'd be a good fifth one. <laughs> yeah. <Red two. laughs> Retro closing words, body man. We're so glad you're back, man. I'm glad you're glad you're feeling better, brother. Oh, dude. Well, thank you very much for having me on, as always. It's been here. really enjoyed it. Um, you'll catch us on hopefully on our channel, the Pop Culture Archivists, on Sunday. Yeah, with Jed we will. And the rest of the gang, and hopefully we have a few bits and pieces to talk about, especially with what's going on in Doctor Who on the. Mm -hmm. so there you go. Thanks again, as always, yeah. guys. Appreciate you, man. Thank you so much. Um, and of course, see, Ash, buddy. I know, of course, you're part of the uh, 
pop culture are activists as well. I mean, archivists. Oops. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I am also an activist. Um, <laughs> at this rate, we'll probably end up calling the pop culture hacktivists. So oh, like every <laughs> single time I go to a new channel, I go over to Especially when I go over to Loki's, he's like, Oh, it's the activists over here. <laughs> as, as if that's my fault or something. Oh, it is. It's your <laughs> fault. <laughs> well, um, I have my own personal channel, uh, Ash Singh, here on YouTube. Um, I'll, I'll be doing hopefully more gaming streams. Um, um, I prefer single player games, so I'll be doing like Let's Plays or just um, a random game here and there. Um, maybe the odd Elder Scrolls Online stream because I do love that game as well. Um, and so on Tuesdays, I panel with Amanda Gillen Presents over on Twitch. On Thursdays, it's Hey of the Global Geek Gang. Uh, on Fridays, um, include um, so on tomorrow, I'll have a Minecraft with Explore the Multiverse, and tomorrow I'll be on TGIF with Pop Culture Minefield. Um, and Saturdays is T-shirt Historians Channel. Sundays uh, is Pop Culture Archivist. Uh, Clobby, when was your um, Fantastic Four stream? Is that this Sunday? That will be, I believe, it is the following Sunday because that's yeah, yeah. Uh, August eighth. Yeah. We're gonna okay. end. We're gonna end sooner on that. Yeah, I, I made okay. sure I did it at four in the afternoon, yeah. so it would be uh, yeah. a little while after you guys started. And if you carry mm -hmm. over, don't worry. Bill seats will be saved, except for Jeds. I mean, Jeds too. <laughs> okay. Well, um, well, this no sun this Sunday is my birthday, so I'll probably oh. be, um, I'm, I'm I might be like late to our stream. Well, after workout scheduling behind the scenes, and then oh, on whoa. Monday. Uh, on Monday, we I'll can probably plan doing... the sabotage for Sunday then. So I didn't realize <laughs> your birthday's a week after mine. <laughs> yeah, um, and then on Monday I'll be doing like my own little gaming stream. Well, I'm I'm conflicted to play whether whether I should play Skyrim or uh -huh. Code Vein because Skyrim is one of my favorite games, um, and Code Vein is basically anime Dark Souls. Code so, Vein, it's got titties in it, so yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, well, yes. Uh, I'm gonna go don't mind me, I'm just going to Steam real quick. <laughs> oh, to buy Code Vein, I'm guessing. It, I'm, pretty sure it's on, I'm pretty sure it's, no. it is on sale. Um, so, okay, yeah, here's, what um, here's what... Yeah, so that's uh, sort of... I, you're well, great, man. We're both August boys. All right. Let's see. Yeah. So I could tell you. What's that, uh, Raymond? Oh, sorry. I'm talking to Sandra. Sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Um, and last and always least, just kidding. <laughs> uh, side, our our flaming sidekick. I mean, he's kind of flaming, you know. But um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Jetty, um, announce away, bro. Okay, I'm gonna say this, and like I always announce stuff for you. I either do announce things either on the this show or on saturday night trek but this time i'm announcing it here there's some changes coming to the channel and it's going to be for the better and me and retro and a few others are figuring things out i'm getting so, kicked out aren't i no you're not you're you're yeah. actually gonna wow. get some tell, so. tell an iron caster's out on the air on the yeah. show that's brutal no, <laughs> no. <laughs> there's but there's there's gonna, <laughs> I, I'm, there's gonna be more shows because everybody's been asking, why is there only a Sunday show? Yeah. Because of my yeah. schedule, but there is going to be more shows. And here's a teaser. Our first show that is not going to be the Sunday show is going to be about Doctor Who. Who? So, well, just a teaser. So. Yeah. And, and Retro is going to be the co-host on that with some other people, so that you may know, so. No, that's so. It, 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 and here's the thing, and it is going to be from was it 1963 retro? Um, yeah. To 1966 to 1989, the 1970, yeah. uh, 2005 to 20, 2017. Yeah, that, that's. Where do you think I got that one from, Mike? I picked. Yeah, I was me, listening. For me, it's thirteen, but you guys go with seventeen. Yeah. Huh? yeah. Well, we got to include Capaldi, so you know, you yeah, know at me. the end of Capaldi's run. So yeah, you can. So. Dude, I, you have my permission. 
So, um, <laughs> yeah, we, yeah, we, we, we're gonna be in, 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 and there, there's gonna be, um, people are gonna have their things, and on Sunday, um, like, you, like you saw, like you saw this last, um, Sunday, there was a little bit of a change in format. Um, yeah, our, our group is gonna be having their own little times on the channel and stuff where they bring everything up on Sundays and stuff, but I'm, I'm trying to, like, always evolve and change on the channel, so we are gonna be doing that, so you got more new shows to come up, more new things, like, Ashy's gonna be doing video games on Sundays, too. That's his thing. Yo, boy. Uh, and in nice. um, seven seventies is going to be doing music, um, nice. and and there's just going to be just a ton of new stuff coming up because you never want it to get stale. And I want to make it like more entertaining for. I know we do it, but I, I want it. I want you guys to love it too, and not just you know show the, the stuff that we love, you know, and stuff. So yeah, on Father Christopher's taking another week off, so he's still on vacation. Some of my schedule has opened up, so um, because of things have happened, um, people change their schedules and stuff around. But mostly, you'll see me on the Global Geek Gang on Nick. Sometimes, eh, not every week because I don't expect every week you'll see me on the Thursday Night Throwdown. But you know, I'm I'm grateful that comics and you know culture have let me on there, and then on T-shirts. And some others in um wake down when you know he likes he, well, he's he kind enough to let me come on so but yeah they're in there there's they, like I said there's gonna be some other stuff that I hope you guys are love so I just want to say thank you for supporting Mike is you know he he is a brother to me and thank you guys for helping him get you know monetized and hitting that thousand mark because. You know, I would say this without him, none of us would have this place. And basically, the archivist would have never started if it wasn't. Well, I would too. The the two main people for that have started the archivist would and it were instrumental in this were Retro and Mike. So they're both family, and you know everything to me. And I got to thank everybody in the chat. Thank you guys for coming and just kicking it with us every week so well Mike. thank you buddy and thank you all um for being here today and uh please go check out all my all these channels of all these wonderful friends we have here um with us let me check uh, let me, well it's stream yards so slow um yeah. what a wonderful chat we've had here with us today all of you we appreciate you so much so much more than you can know <coughs> um let's see uh having a little other hey there and uh man it's just what a crowd we had today it was incredible and it's just been a lot of fun i want to thank you all for being here today with us on the global geek gang we're going to keep global geek gang in at you on thursdays and uh Let's see here. Quick show note, as uh, Ash had mentioned, and now we're getting close to it. Been saying this for a while. August 8th. Whoa. That's some noise back there, whatever it is. <laughs> August 8th. Fantastic Four 60th anniversary celebration, 4 p.m. Central Standard Time. Sunday. It's a Sunday. Because Marvel Comics doesn't know how to do it right. Um, mm -hmm. All of August, my friends, will be Jack Kirby Month here on Clobber Time, as it always is, celebrating the greatest creative force in comics, the king of comics. Um, obviously, there'll be other shows, like the Star Trek shows, things like that. But, I mean, all of my comic shows that I'm doing every every Monday of the, every Monday of that month, that's the comic, Mark C. Comics Talk, we devoted to the great king of comics very at various aspects of his career and things like that. And maybe a couple of uh, wild card shows. And, of course, on his birthday on the 28th, uh, I'm definitely going to do something that day as well. Mm -hmm. So, because we love the king. And Saturday night, everyone, 9 p.m. Central Standard Time. Please join us for Saturday Night Star Trek. We're getting through this. We've got to get through it together. Star Trek The Next Generation being reviewed. 
as all of as we're reviewing all of Trek sixty six through uh, <laughs> 05, all real Trek. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> it's this is a tough one, folks. This yeah, first yeah. Season, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna be dubbing this first season of Next Generation the Miracle Season. This a miracle that thing lasted. So, um, mm -hmm. but we have a wonderful time doing that with my fantastic first officer, first officer Raquel M. Briggs. Love you, Raquel. So everyone, Mark David the C, thanks for joining us. Fat Steven Seagal for joining us. Uh, T-shirt historian for joining us. Uh, who else was here? Did I forget anyone uh, who joined us? Oh, the, of course. See, that's how old I am. I forget things. Thanks to the great Stone Loki, not only for joining us and hanging out with us, but for my wonderful intro outro. Big shout out to the wonderful, beautiful Purple Valkyrie. Love you. And everybody, Arwen, Arwen had to leave, the lovely Arwen, the ladies, and all you guys out there who hung out with us, Steve Mitchum. Uh, and everyone, so many great names, so many great Nick people. Here, Steve, Nick, oh yeah, there you go. <laughs> Sorry, Nick, I forgot <laughs> you, buddy. Yeah, the great Nick Weiser. Uh, everyone, please, of course, link to his channel below. As we, we, he did say his goodbyes earlier. Thank you all, everyone, for being here with the Global Geek Gang. We love you. We appreciate you, and uh, we will all see you next time. Take care. We're, I think we're still live. Yeah, we're still live, Mike. Because, I know.